Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kilogram weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49 kilogram weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas Sa Paris Olympics, sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion si Pinoy boxer Melvin Jerusalem matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses na patumba ni Melvin ang Japanese boxer na si Yudai Shigyoka. Sa dulo, nakuha ni Melvin ang panalo via split decision. Dahil dyan, may 22 wins na siya sa kanyang professional record. Ito pong nakaraang taon lamang naging kampiyon din si Melvin matapos makuha ang...
open a full weekend of volleyball here inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan City. We welcome you to another coverage of the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Competition. And on a Saturday, we have and we offer a doubleheader for you guys, for you all volleyball fans tuned in. First game po natin, ngayong umagang to mga kapuso, battle between two teams who won their first game of the season. The Perpetual Lady Altas going up against a promising Letran Lady Knights team. This should be an explosive matchup this morning. Speaking of explosive, pagdating natin sa hapon, 2.30 p.m., Arellano versus Mapua will face off. All right, maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood. Again, Saturday morning, April 13, 2024. You guys can catch everything on these platforms. GMA, nandiyan tayo GTV, nandiyan tayo online NCAA Philippines via Facebook and YouTube, X and uh, Facebook. You guys could catch us on GMA Sports PH as well. Right, social media po yan. Maraming salamat po muli. Sa pagising ng maaga, we've been, you know, at it since this morning. We had the men's game already. Pagkatapos po, we go to the women's volleyball tournament. Hello everybody, my name is Martin Avier. Very happy to be at your service on a beautiful Saturday morning today for the first time this season. Welcoming her right here, former Lady Eagle, former pro volleyball player, Miss Cara Acevedo. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Martin. And good morning sa lahat ng mga volleyball fans na gumising ng maaga <laughs> para manood ng NCAA Volleyball. Nako, excited sila dito. Pero ang kukompleto sa broadcast team natin, reporting for both schools. Nandito po si Christine San Agustin. Can't wait for the stories. Very interesting storylines that we have here. Lalong lalo na yung dalawang teams natin galing sa pagkakapanalo. We'll get to Christine in just a little bit. Pag-usapan muna natin itong Letran at Perpetual. Again, taking care of business in their very first game of the uh -huh. season. Diba itong Letran nanalo? Ginulat ang mundo. So, Starting with a bang. Uh -huh. Itong uh, Letran. Diba talagang uh, Nung una, na they lost the first set, pero ginulat nila yung Arellano. Oh, ito naman. Kaya ganun yung team standings natin. Of course, Perpetual, Letrano, 1-0 uh, so far in the season. Very early on in the season to. So, you, we can't really tell you who's gonna make it to the Final Four. Not just yet, but so far, this is how it's looking. Yeah, so right now, uh, Siyempre, dahil simula pa lang ng season, uh -huh. uh, yung mga top two teams natin, yung mga na nauna na uh -huh. ng uh, two games. Pero itong Perpetual and Letran again, tied at 1-0. So today, parang uh, makikita talaga natin kung paano mag-play out yung season na to. That's right. Puntahan natin itong Perpetual Lady Altas. I call this a revenge season for them because, <laughs> you know, they had a disappointing finish yes. in season 98. They were expecting to make it to the finals. Did not make it. This season, they want to do it all the way, beating JRU, taking care of business, sweeping the Lady Bombers. Oh, talagang uh, showing na uh, everything's business, even at the start of the season. Talagang three, uh, three sets to none, talagang dominating each of the sets sa spikes pa lang. Mahita natin na talagang lamang na lamang sila dun sa kalaban. At ito na, reigning NCAA Women's Volleyball MVP, Mary Rose Daps, Dapol. Uh, business as usual against JRU had 16 points. Very nonchalant. Kaya ito yung headline natin, nonchalant MVP. Bihira. Lalo pag MVP ka na nonchalant. Pero dahil siya, you know, he's very comfortable with who he is or who she is as a volleyball player. That's why, you know, she, he, she applies that kind of demeanor on the court. 16 points already para dito kay Mary Rose Tapol in only their first game of the season. On the other side, for the Letran Lady Knights, Ito yung gumulat sa NCAA community natin. The debut of Coach Oliver Almadro, tinalo po nila ang uh, Arellano Lady Chiefs in four sets. Oh, sabi nga ni Coach O kanina, homecoming niya ito. At uh, yun nga, as uh, we said earlier, talagang ginulat nila ang Arellano. Kasi uh, on paper, di ba, nakikita natin na mas matangkad naman tong Arellano team, mas experienced. Mm. So, hindi na-expect, kahit si Coach O sinasabi oh. niya, hindi ko naman na-expect na ganun yung <laughs> magiging labanan. Pero we see here na uh, from the second set to the fourth set, talagang they dominated against the Arellano uh, Lady Chiefs. Talk about consistency para dito sa Letran Lady Knights. 
Sakto, yung tatlong sunod na set, 25-17, 25-17, 25-17. You know, that's how you make an entry para kay Coach Oliver Almadro showing us his impact right away on this particular team, especially, you know, with his program being integrated already in the Lady Knights. Oh, at uh, sinasabi nga niya, he's trying to uh, build the system mm -hmm. ng uh, Lady Knights. At uh, they started with yung kanilang setter, si Estrella. Yeah. At nakikita naman natin na yung last uh, game nila, I think they had four players in double digits. So talagang mahita na natin dun pa lang. Meron ng improvement yeah. kaagad si Coach O. And ang playmaking dun. You mentioned ni Nat Estrella, 20 excellent sets. And again, activating... A lot of Lady Knights in that game. Apat nga ang, uh, in double figures. Leading the way was the rookie Gia Makila. All right, let's turn you over to our Coliseum announcer for the introduction of the players. Magandang umaga mga kapuso. Ito po ang inyong NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game. Live ngayon sa GTV Worldwide sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International. At my live streaming pa sa jamienetwork.com, NCAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCAA updates, highlights, and results on GMA Integrated News. Introducing our officials for this match. First referee is Glenn Flores. Second referee is Pinks Kabusa. And now, let's meet our team's first, the University of Perpetual Health System Delta Lady Altas. And their opponents, Nicoleo de San Juan de Letran Lady Knights. Now let's be the starting six first from the Perpetual Lady Altas. Outside hitter number one, Daps Double. Middle blocker number three, Win Bedanya. Outside hitter number four, Shai Omipon. Opposite spiker number nine, Beb Socando. Middle blockers, their team captain number 15, Dea Aldea. Setter number 16, Minmin Sapin. And their starting numero is number 17, Jody Lozano. The head coach of the Lady Altas is Sandy Rieta. And now the starting six for the Netran Lady Knights. Opposite spiker number one, Judiel Yutira. Middle blocker number three, Royce De La Cruz. Another middle blocker, number six, Ange Ledesma. Outside hitter, number seven, Yen Martin. Setter, number 10, Nat Estrelier. Outside hitter, number 25, Gia Makina. And their starting numero is number 19, their team captain, Nara Silva. The head coach of the Lady Knights is Oliver Almadro. Welcome back to the coverage, an early clash of the titans it is a ncaa season 99 women's volleyball competition and you see the starters from both teams first time yung mga main gunners nila. this is also how they started their previous games para dito sa perpetual leading the way is the mvp mary rose dapol on the other side leading the way for latran is their well now turning out to be a star setter, etong si Nat Estrellier. Just basing it off the first game, 20 excellent sets para kay Nat. And again, activating a ton of players in that matchup. Maraming salamat po sa inyong panunood. I love this top shot, by the way, that oh, we have. Kakaiba. But dinadaanan ng mga players natin yung stats <laughs> na may dadaanan nila yan. <laughs> it's Letran and Perpetual squaring off in our first game today. Good morning, everybody. The start of a 
Full weekend of volleyball dito po sa NCAA and inside of Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Martin Avier with Cara Acevedo Ong and Christine San Agustin later on joining at courtside. But serve right away, unleashed by Min Sapin, putting on the pressure on the first ball of Letran. And that goes out for Okado. Okado. Uh, quite an over uh, hit there. Nagu arma pa siguro. <laughs> arma pa. Masyado pang malakas. Only had seven points. I expected her to be the third scorer right behind Dapol and Omipon. She was the fourth. She had seven points, pero naangatan siya doon ng konte ni Winnie Bedanya. But this is a service error. Mula naman sa leading scorer ng Letran in the previous game, si Gia Makilang. Magkapitid yan. Gia and Jogi Makilang nasa line po ng Letran nang galing sa Bohol. Again, a heavy serve. Better pick up though. Ah, that's a good swing from Yen Martin. Lozano was there, pero ang ganda ng angle ni Martin. Ito si Yen Martin had 16 points. On deck to serve for Letran is What a swing right here. Sabi sa akin ni Coach O, nasa lineup na yan. Nasa Team B siya last season. Hindi pa siya na lineup. Pero dahil sobrang laki nung kanyang in-improve, made her way to the starting lineup. At siya nga yung pinagkakatiwalaan ni Coach O. Oh, service ace. Para dito sa Letran Lady Knights, it is De La Cruz. As far as I know, ang perpetual ang uh, nag-lead sa serving last season. Pero right now, Letran showing uh, their serving prowess. Wow. Oh, difficult first ball. Mabibigyan ng chance ha? ang Letran. Estrelier to Martin. Denied. One more time for Martin. Good she scores again. Yeah, Martin. Credit that to good coverage from the defense of Letran. 4-1. Two of the four coming from this lady right here, Yen Martin. Right now, Estrelier. Uh, confusing the blockers. Nakita natin mga two sequences na butas yeah. yung block nitong uh, perpetual. Again, much improved setting this season for Estrelier. Pero This is a breather for the Lady Altas here. As they start to chip away, they... Razel Aldea, the captain, captain, will be at the service Aldea. line. Her final season in the NCAA. First, gusto niyo ma-experience, makapasok sa finals at manalo ng championship. Ledesma with a push. Okado, uh, picked up by Estrelier. On the other side, Nitura. Could have convert, pero walang kumuha ng second ball para sa perpetual. Nagkatinginan. <laughs> no one there to take a second ball. Nakakatawa. Okay, it was deflected. It was picked up by Omipon. Tapos walang kumuha. Pagkatama, yung lumingon si Shai sa may bandang direksyon namin siya tumingin. I think she was looking at the crowd right behind us. Nagtataka siya. What? Walang kumuha. Walang kumuha ng second ball. Fantastic start for the Letran Lady Knights. Min Sapin. A oh, quick attack for Winnie Bedanya. Win With a roar from Sapin. Bawi agad. And that's what she can do. Winnie Bedanya. Nine points in the previous game. Serving for... And very Lady effective Alta. as a and middle Sohado. for Perpetual. Estrelier. Ooh. Yeah, error yeah. or not. Double infraction there. Let's see what happened. This was the quick earlier. Ah, oh, that was a sharp swing by Winnie Bedanya. Medura gives up the free ball, but that's an angled free ball. That ball is denied. One more time for Daps. Denied again. Min, choosing Omipon from the back, and the putting the blockers. Third straight block. Wow, this one is not over. So how about the, the movement of the trans blockers? I know, talagang bantay na bantay nila. I think that was three straight. Yeah. Two from Mary Rose Dapol. Marcado. 
Oh, nonchalant MVP. 16 points for uh, Daps in their first game. Serving for Letran. Not surprising. Not surprising, <laughs> yeah. She is a prolific scorer. We know what she's capable of. And she is living up to the expectations. Tapol. Ooh, tagap by Nitura. Pakilang. And si Luzano. Betanya. Oh, Betanya again. Betanya. Grabe yung tiwala ni Sapin kay Winnie Bedanya scoring another one for the Lady Altas. Here's the pickup by Mary Serving Ruiz Tapo leading to that an attack. Double. That was Great defended dick, by Natura. Yeah. Yes. But Perpetual going to Bedanya a lot. Makila! 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 She really went up for that. Ang tapang din itong batang to. Yeah. She's got great elevation. Kasi hindi katangkaran. Itong si Gia Makilang. Pinabawi niya sa talon. Serving for Letran is Sangye Ledesma. So for Perpetual, surprisingly early on, it's been Winnie Bedanya na pinaka-effective nilang scorer so far. Lick Ledesma. Sapin. Omnipon. Oh, too strong for Shai. But there's a check. Shai Omnipon. Perpetual will get this. Omnipon scores a point. Letran trying to contest the call. Wala Pero, daw. <laughs> oo, ang ating first ref. Strict. Si ano to, referee Glenn Flores. Yung middle blocker mo ha? Yung middle blocker mo. Okay. Kita ko. Mm. Okay. <laughs> May konting warning to oh, si first okay. ref. Serving now is Will Yung middle blocker daw ng Letran. Si De La Cruz yata. He's pertaining to De La Cruz. And speaking of De La Cruz, oh! A block single coverage. Aldea. Single block by Aldea. A captain with great timing. And we're all tied up. Seven all. Perpetual recovering after a slow start. Uy, masyado malakas. Service goes out. Napapalakas ang mga serves natin this morning. First, uh, first technical, technical timeout. timeout on the other side of the break. We'll have the first report from Christine San Agustin. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niya ang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic qualifying tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Ma Christine, we'll have Christine. Christine's report in just a little bit. Ayan, pero patuloy po ang aksyon. Dito sa loob ng Philo Oil Eco Oil Center, it's 8 to 7 in favor of Letran. It's been, you know, a set of runs so far. It was Letran who had the early lead, the upper bed one, as expected, fighting back. Naamoy tayong extended game dito, ah. Tignan natin. Exciting match so far. Dikit na dikit. Dikit na dikit. Ooh, nice serve! Of the technical timeout, a service is from Estrelier. Oh, look at this. This was... With the help of the net. Oh my goodness. With the help of the net. That's very sharp. Saktong sakto. Sa tuktok ng net. Oh, better first ball. Oh, Mipon off the combination. Underhand setup for Nitura. Tapol was right there to pick it up. Aldea couldn't convert. That's it. Nitura again. Nitura scores. So far, Letran really working on the coverage. Kahit na nabablock sila. Tuloy pa rin ng tuloy. And uh, ayun, getting the better uh, of uh, Perpetual so far. Judel Nitura with a point. And Atari Estrelier at the service end. 20 excellent sets, player of the game against Arellano. Wow, that was dug up. 
That was a heavy hit by Omipon. Sapin to Omipon again. Ah, oh, too low. That was too low. Nagigigil na tong si Shaila Omipon. So far, wala pang hakalusot na palo. She had the clear attempt on the first setup sa kanya. Okay, Coach Sandy, tumawag ng timeout. Pakinggan natin siya. Nagigigil tayo, malayo pa naman yan. Ang sakit sigurado eh, hindi naman kailangan ng malakas dyan eh. Sigurado tayo yung depensa. Katayo ka lang dyan, umangat na yung bola, nakatayo ka lang dyan. Kalma lang, masyado ang gigit. Kalma lang, kalma, kalma. Yung galaw lang sa training, ganun lang. Okay, kalma lang daw, sabi ni Coach Sandy Rieta. Alright, let's finally hear the first report from Christine San Agustin. As we were saying, two teams who drew first blood are now playing to get their second. Madugudugong labanan nga ang mangyayari ngayong umaga, especially that both teams are really eager to get that win. Kanina, ka kausap ko si Coach Sandy Rieta ng Perpetual Lady Altas at ang sabi niya sa akin, their first win provided a really good foundation for them and a good head start at ito ang magagabay sa kanila as the season progresses. Meanwhile, Coach Oliver Almadro or Coach O told me that even after the first win, they must refrain from being too overwhelmed and overconfident in order to maintain their performance and even better if they can exceed that. Exciting match ahead, Martin Kara, but for now, balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Christine. You know, Coach O, he has big expectations from this team. He understands the process. Same with Coach Sandy Rieta, who has won multiple championships in the juniors division. Oh, definitely, yes. Sa boys uh, division natin. So... Both coaches, rich championship tradition, they know, they understand what the process is like. Oh, and uh, right now, we see yung performance ng Letran. Oh, wow, miscommunication. So, Kara, 6 to nothing run for the Letran Lady Knights. Pulling away here in set one, a rare miscue between Sapin and the Aldea. So, si Coach Sandy magpapalit ang playmaker dito. Coach Sandy trying to mix things up. Because so far, uh, his girls are being rattled yeah. by itong charging Letran Lady Knights. Si Fifi Ariola will be setting for Perpetual. Oh! The ball's back. still alive. Estrella, tumakilang! Popped up. That's too close. Joust over to the side of the Lady Alta Sapple. Oh. That's too that strong. Out. Point goes to the gun. Yeah, she knew it that uh, she wasn't in position for that hit. 7 0 run for Letran. Ito, the setter from Ormok, 21 excellent sets, four points of two spikes, one block, and one ace. A complete performance from Estrelier. And so far, she's really giving uh, the lady out of a hard time yep. Yep. in the service line. <laughs> Seven straight points. Nandyan sa service area. Itong si Estrelier. Omipon winds up. Omipon finally gets Shy. one. Power hit through. Itong si Shaila. Kanina pa ito nangigigil. Kanina pa. Uh, Napifeel ko. <laughs> Anong kailangan na ngayon uh, para sa kumbiyansa niya. Much Perfect. needed point. And that ends the seven to nothing run of Letran. Nakasabi lang natin kanina, dikit. <laughs> oh. Ngayon, dumayo oh, ang Letran. Oo, nagtulaw ay bigla itong Letran. That was a good serve by Ariola. And here she is. Combination! Wow! Beautifully wow. executed. <laughs> <laughs> si Okado. Yung pumuntas dito, Kara. Look at this. Decoy by Aldea. Agad yung dalawang blockers. Good sub from Coach Sandy. Ayun nga, mixing things up. Yeah. Okay, rotation error. Positional fault on Letran. Point goes Against to Letran. Perpetual. So, this will give Perpetual their third straight point as they try to chip away here in set one. Go, Cho. On your screens. Ariola to serve. Estrelier, to Makinam. Ooh, what a big Velozano. 
Omipon on the counter. Omipon scores. Chai Omipon. Chai Omipon with a no look down the line. <laughs> Deceiving yung kanyang blockers. But ito muna ang uh, magandang dig yes. ni Lozano making way for that play. Oh yeah. Uh, about the gun. Looking right. Finishing left. Okay, pero hindi tama yung ginawa. Kailangan tayo execution. Sunod. Alam mo pupunta sa yung bola, hindi tayo pumesto kaga. Okay? Sunod. We have to know our advantage. Hindi tayo basta banat ng banat. Hindi ko pa naman siya pinakapunta dun eh. Dun muna, dun muna to. Diba? Para mabago muna yung tingin sa kalan ng kalaban. Huwag mo muna ipakita yun. One good okay. up! Again! Update! Yun muna! Let's say sa muna tayo! Receive na na! Go! Go! Kocho, very... Objective on that timeout. Four to nothing run. Counter run here by the Lady Altas after the seven to nothing earlier. Netong uh, Letran. Coach O asking the girls to just take a pause. Yeah. Kasi alam naman natin na kalaban. Uh, kilala nila yung kalaban nila. And uh, di lang yung video agad. Okay. Pinuntahan nila si Makila. That was the instruction. Take it from this side. Pero attack fault nga lang. Mula dito kay Makilang. 5-0 run para sa Lady Altas. Ito na yung sinabi na, dikit pa rin. At lumayo na kanina, lumapit ulit ang perpetual. Set of runs so far. Estrelier with the underhand set, pero free ball ang ibibigay. Di ready si Nitura. Rock back set, denied. Omipon of speed. Easy pick up. De La Cruz, hindi umabot. So six to nothing run by the Lady Altas, and they are within a point after falling behind by as many as seven here in the opening set. Just like that, <laughs> we are back with just a one point lead. Not tracking it down. Easy up for Shai. Oh, Mipon winds up. Oh, uh, Silva. Makila cuts it down. To stop the bleeding for Letran. I love her confidence ni Makila. She's, again, we mentioned earlier, she's not the tallest of spikers. Yeah. But she knows, ayan, nakita-kita niya yung butas sa blockers ng perfect. Sabi sa akin ni Coach, yan, alam natin yung kakayahan nito ni Makila. Asokado overshoots it. Ang gusto niya dito. Sige, mamaya papalik ako. We go first to our second technical second timeout. Technical it timeout. is Letran ahead by three. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category. Balik sa ating laban, father Vic Calvo, junior OP, Mancom representative of Colegio de San Juan de Letran, sitting right behind the bench of the Lady Knights. Sabi sa akin ni Coach O kanina, itong si Gia Makilang, what he loves about this player as we see Sir Frank Guzzi Jr., chairman of our uh, Season 99 Indoor Volleyball Tournament, also watching because also is per per perpetual is here and playing. Sabi niya, very coachable itong si Gia. Kahit anong sabihin mo sa kanya, nangangiti, ina-absorb yung instructions at ina-apply sa court. Nagita naman natin sa kanyang performance so far. Shai Omipon. Don Meiko, may finish na yung uh, atake ni Omipon. Kanina, gigil na gigil, gigil eh. Gigil eh, oo. Uh. <laughs> Pero hindi mo siya masisi. Kasi, you know, the blockers are always there on the side of Letran, right in front of her. Judel, uh, popped up by Shai. Here comes Okado, angling it. This is gonna be sent across a free ball for the Lady Altas. Tapol. Wala. 
Estreliego Martin. Oof, that was not over. Yes, that was too low. Four touches, point goes to Perpetua. So after the second technical timeout, two straight points para dito sa Lady Knights. And these two teams separated by just a point. <laughs> Love what we're seeing so far. Estrelier. Oh, Chudel is denied. The ball is still up. Transition play. Here comes Perpetual. That ball winding up. Nakabang talaga yung blocker sa kanya. Aldea. Aldea. Showing us how it's done. So far, ang ating middle blockers from Perpetual making a mark. Dahil parang markado ng mga blockers ng literan tong outside hitters natin. Earlier, it was Winnie Bedanya. Now, it's Razil Aldea. The captain. Captain, yeah. Estrelier. Back set, the push by Nitura. Not gonna work. Oh! Not sure if that was a temper of miss set. Okado. Silva. Underhand setup. Oh, it's a push again for Judel. Tapol. Lumusot. Pero buhay pa. We are continuing the rally. Aldea. Sumabet. Oh, yeah. And he hit the net. Again, for but the both net. teams really showing good yeah. coverage. Amahaba ng rallies natin. That's right. Very competitive volleyball we're witnessing so far. And yeah, dumaplis sa net ang kanyang uh, kanang kamay. On the way down from that hit. Ahirap nung twist ni Ariola dun, ano? Because she twisted, touched the ball at the peak. Ito ulit siya. Uh, that ball is set wow. back. Wow! She is continuing to get checked by the Lady Knights. Jadel puts it away. So far, Mary Rose Dapol unable to get through dito sa Letran. Yeah. Meanwhile, the Lady Knights have been unpredictable oh. on these attacks. So far, Estrelier activating a lot of her spikers. Yeah. Ball. This time, it's straight to the net. A little bit of frustration from the MVP afterwards. I think the set was also a bit uh, too low for her liking. So the crowd establishes, at this point, a three-point lead. Ariola to Aldea, barely getting Again. to it. Aldea. Doing a great job. Yung delay na yun, napaganda pa. Oh my. Para kay Razel. Oh, yung hang time mo. Oh, <laughs> di ba? Shoot pa. Yung sa gitna. 17-19. Ah, oh, inabutan ni Silva. Ledes na. Another time. Ganda nung day. Finally, Silva. <laughs> Tapol. Blockers were there to deflect it. Martin, oh, down the line yeah. for Yen Martin. Martin. Clean hit for Yen Martin. We, we gotta see, at least later, the two dolphin know. dives of Lara Silva, and then it resulted to this point, Malines. Malines, at uh, kita niya talaga yung buta sa zone one. 2017. Except Okado winding up and putting it down. Okado also contributing. Parang slow start siya kanina, but she's already finding her groove. Sharp na yung uh, hits to Dita earlier. She started with so much power. Ooh. Oh, unfortunate service error on her end. That one was white right substitution for the Lady Altas, Christian Cordero, coming in for the first time. Replacing itong si Bebang Okado. Yen Martin to serve, three points already. Dapol, ooh! Oh. Dapol really struggling so far. The Lady Knights will grab the four-point lead. Still struggling. Uh, Strength will variate her attacks, but she's 
been committing errors. Punta natin si Coach Sandy. Pasa tayo yung pattern, no? Yung nabasa yung pinag-aaral, pinag-practice siya, no? Nagtatago kayo, eh. Tumulo kayo dito. Andun yung bola nila, eh. Hindi natin makakuha yun. Nagtatago kayo sa likod ng ano. Ah! Pasa tayo. Pag napasok ko pa ka namin, eh. Adversity faced here by the Lady Altas in only the first set. So, Dapol so far, Gara. Zero points. She hasn't scored in the match. And so far, all of her attempts. Hindi po mapasok. Oh. Three attack Three errors. Three attack so far. errors. And, uh, yun nga, markadong markado siya Markado. ng blockers ng letran. Napaghandaan itong si Mary Rose Dapol. But we expect her to. Catch her groove later. Makilang. Here's Dapol from the other side. Nakaabang pa rin. Ariola to the back this time. Estrelier underhand pass. Dapol will try again. It is denied. Oh! Oh, it's still alive. Buhay pa. Good coverage from Lozano. Chance ball. Makilang! Ending the rally. Okay. <laughs> Grabe talaga ito <laughs> si Makilang. Another clean hit from her. How about this? The elevation, the placement, the put down by Makilang. You also got a credit. Itong blockers ng Letran. Sinarado ang pintuhan kay Dapol kanina. Buhay pa to. Oh! Why goes to Lilianas? Okay. So I think Letran thought that the place stopped already. Yeah. Yeah, hindi nila kinuha yung free ball. A little confusion right now over the ball. Kasi pumito. Ito yung save kanina ni Cordero. Yeah. Cordero. Crash. It was a clean save and uh over uh, pass from the uh, Lady Altas. Yeah. But uh, the Letran Lady Knights thought that the play was being stopped already. Yeah. I think our referee to Spinkabusa is, well, she, he had a conversation with Coach O. Uh, bali, ano, uh, napindut kasi yung buzzer. So, bali ang gagawin natin, ido double fault natin, dead ball. Okay, replay tayo, replay, okay? Okay, tayo. Replay tayo, ha? Hindi siya point. Okay? Okay. Sige lang. Okay, okay. Okay. Sige, sige. So, accidentally... Yeah, accidentally na pindot yung buzzer. Kasi yeah. dun tumama si Cordero. Ah, okay. Diba? Nandun sa tabi. Nandun sa tabi. Okay. Ito. So, we will replay the point. So, walang uh, puntos ang perpetual. Ayun, pagpagsak siguro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, replay. Five point lead for Letran. Winnie Bedanya catching the corner Winnie pocket. Bedanya. Akala ko hindi niya maaabot eh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pero mahaba ang uh, mga braso ni Winnie Bedanya at naabot niya yun. Sabi ng Perpetual, ganun din naman. So, sa kanila din napunta yung point. <laughs> 19, serving 23. Dapol serving. Estrelier over to Makilang. Nandun si Dapol sa likod. Medanya again! Medanya again! The middle blockers helping out dito sa Perpetual. Ito. Back-to-back points for Winnie Medanya. Same spot okay. for her. Another calculated hit. <laughs> Grabe yung bawi sa depensa ni Dapol oh, dito. Oh, what a good serve! And that's her first nice. point of the match. A serve is ace for the reigning MVP. You can see uh, Dapo's expression. Talagang, ay! Yeah. <laughs> nigil na gigil na siya mag-point uh, since uh, kanina pa. Nag-break ng character oh, doon si Dapo. Hindi <laughs> na siya nonchalant doon. Oo, oh, nagpakita ng emotions. Emotion. Yeah, so, Coach O. Ay, passing meters. You know that. Okay, expect. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, expect. May chance ka pa kanina doon, good receive. Okay, walang straight, left and right. Okay, hindi yan. Na huwag mo ipilit yun. Kasi yun nga, pattern ng defense eh. Diba? Oh. Dito, di, pwede pa to. Pwede to, mga atas. Pwede dito. 
Now, kailangan pairahin nito at pairahin yung free. Thank you, Jesus! Every time out, Coach Oliver emphasizing on keeping the faith. Ito muna yung services ni Manny Rose Dapol. Unang point na ito ni Dapol sa laban natin. We'll see if Letran can respond and close the things out in set one. Let Desma. Angel Desma. Yeah. Activated. Coming off a great reception from Silva. And it is set point situation for the Lady Knights. For Letran, number six, Angel Desma out. Number five, Kay Almirante in. Ito si Kay Almirante coming in for the first time for serving purposes. Serving to close out the set is Kay Almirante. Coach O making sure his uh, back row players yung strength niya, yung yeah. depensa sa likod. Alright. And this is a full front line for Letran. Oh! oh! A service ace! Really? That's why Ang ganda ng she bunot. was inserted. <laughs> oh. And of set number one, for that exact reason, itong si Almirante. Kakapasok lang. Walang malamig na kamay. Oh, service ace agad. And to win set number one for Letran. They're on the, bird, uh, on the board first, rather. 25-21. 31 minutes in set one. Pagbalik po natin set two. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Balik sa ating laban. It is the Letran Lady Knights striking first in this match. Winning set one, 25-21. You guys got Martin Avier, Carla Acevedo Ong, Cristina San Agustin at courtside. Set one natin, very competitive. It was, you know, we saw runs from both teams natin. Pero itong Letran was able to maintain their lead up until the very end. Oh, um, sobrang nagulat ang perpetual sa performance itong Letran in the first set. Yeah. Medyo nag-scramble sila sa defense, sa reception. Uh, and uh, markado lahat ng uh, spikers nila nitong Letran blocking and uh, yun nga na mention natin earlier Mary Rose Dapol only scoring one yeah. point and that is from the service line right. not even uh, from the net so uh, ayun nakita natin na uh, again well distributed ang uh, mga attacks dito sa side ng Letran by Natalie Estelier mm -hmm. and kaya naman uh, nabubutas naman ang block nitong perpetual but uh, on the side of Perpetual, the middle blockers yeah. working naman this time, taking over dahil nga markado ang kanilang mga outside spikers. Yeah. Ito yung mga numero natin, 11 errors for the Lady Altas in that set. Okay, although zero ang blocks dito ng Letran. Oh, zero yung block zero yung kills, blocks. Oh, but pero, oh, oh, they gave Perpetual such a hard time throughout that first set. And uh, even sa service aces, yeah. three lang yan, pero hirap na hirap din sa receptions. Itong perpetual, unable to convert. At kaya naman yung mga sets ni Ariola and ni Sapin earlier, malalayo lahat. Uh, yeah. Hindi yung mga mas comfortable sila, dapol sila umipon. So yun, hirap na hirap talaga sila dito Sorry, sa first set. Alright, second set. We'll see if it's gonna be a different story. Yetran Lady Knights, Perpetual Lady Altas. 
for Perpetual. Min Sapin is still on the bench starting as setter. Itong si Fifi Ariola who activated Aldea. Again, itong middle blockers ang uh, so far ang susi ng uh, Perpetual. Uh, they really need to step up especially in times like this na talagang check ang kanilang outside hitters. Oh, difficult first ball. Ito, chance para sa Lady Altas. The back set, Cordero. And error on Mitran. I think Makilang touched the net yeah. on her way down. So 2 to nothing. This is the ideal start for Perpetual as Dapol continues to serve. She had one ace earlier. Better first ball for Letran. They head to Nitura. Judel with a checkout. That was a nice swing by Judel Nitura. The blockers were there. Pero ginamit niya yung uh, right hand yeah. <laughs> to swipe it out. Oh, that's outside. Service goes out. Nakala ni Makilang pasok. Yes. Pero lumabas daw, sabi nung ating... Uh, the linesman called linesman, it out. Linesman, yeah. Serving for perpetual team captain, Dea Aldea. Aldea. Estrelier to Martin. Ooh. Tatawed ni Silva. Here comes Perpetual. Combination. Oy. Wow. What a wasted opportunity. Nahuli na sana nila yung blockers. Yeah. Pero masyadong nauna si Shyla for that hit. Nalunod siya. Nalunod. Yeah. Bihira yun para sa Perpetual Lady Altas. Usually on point at sink yung uh, team na to. Ariola. Oh, Mipon. Yun, may gigil na. Against the triple block, that is. Yeah. Underhand setup. Cordero. Oh. Dug up. But no second ball for Letran. Christian Cordero is able to score. So, Coach Sandy opting for Cordero. He used uh, Okado in the first set. Yeah. Ngayon, kailangan niya mag-mix uh, ulit ng players. 4 to 2. Martin! Oh, the blockers were there. Off speed. Easy up. Oh, Mipon. That one is deflected. Ball in transition. Oh, hinakabol ni Luzano. Omipon again. Shai Omipon. So Shai Omipon. Walang gigil on that point. Nakita niya kung saan ang butas. Yeah. Sharp <laughs> kill. For, uh, yeah. yeah. A sharper kill. A softer, sharper yeah. kill in the middle. Yeah, precisely. Sh uh, soft and sharp to the right spot. Desma. Di gagana. Off speed. Ooh. Single block. Isa pa. That one, kinargahan ni Omipon. Masyado namang malakas. Yeah, that was just too strong for Omipon. Like, Alam naman natin kung gaano kalakas pumalo oh. itong si Omipon. Yeah. But I like the intention. Kasi walang tao sa likod oh. eh. Napalakas lang. Yudel Nitura with five points already. Petran staying with Perpetual. Wow, what a dump. Although it's picked up. Martin. Here comes Perpetual. A winny Bedania goes wide. That goes out. Point uh, goal. Sumobra. Yung uh, <laughs> kabig itong si Bedania. She, she was still aiming for that yeah. same spot na tinatama niya kanina pa. Pero it just went too wide this time. So after a slow start, Letran is back to within one. Oh! Too low for Bedania. Tabla tayo sa set number two. After the first set, surprise to me. Oh, <laughs> okay. lang yung dalawang teams natin. Kahit gano'ng kalaki, yung lamang nila sa isa't isa. Bedania, that time. Uh, well, that set was too low for her. At least for her ideal attempt. Oh, Mipon! Oh! Detonates. A good set from Ariola also. Coming from a great receive from uh, Dapol. 
Ang ganda ng sequence na yun. Yeah. Let's check this one out. Ariola to Omipon. Green and the Anpa. Sabi niya. Daanan ko si Ledes. Good surf. Martin. Nandun sa likod si Shai. Tapol. The blockers again were there. It is alive. It's gonna be sent across. Ito na ang perpetual. Went for the dump. Tapol. Yes. Finally, Dapol. <laughs> Her first point of an attack. Mary Rose Dapol. Kanina pa nagigigil to si Mary Rose. Finally, she gets one down the line. And it came early in the second set. Seven to five. One, two for Estrelier. Uh, Estrelier. Nice one from Natalie Estrelier. Good decision. And you kind of saw it coming. Oh, okay, medyo maaga niya, you know, taas yung kamay niya, but still, uh, Perpetual is unprepared for that. Of course, not hybrid yan in the previous <laughs> season. Setter, oh, a spiker. Oh, a spiker. Oh. Pero ito, si Winnie Bedanya, right height, right attack for Bedanya, who will send us to our first technical timeout. Pagbalik natin. It's gonna be Christine San Agustin. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa pareho. Watching the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament before the huddle ended earlier, Coach O reminded the Lady Knights of three things. That's their EQ, their IQ, and the SQ, giving great emphasis on SQ or their spiritual quotient because for them, if they play with nothing but heart and faith, every good thing will follow. Meanwhile, Coach Sandy emphasized the Lady Altus' maturity, viewing it as their greatest strength. And since he believes that their team is already matured enough, he challenged challenge everyone in the team to make smarter decisions and be more proactive in any situation that may arise. Get insights from our two wise men. Let's see how this will play out in the hard court. But for now, Martin and Kara. Maraming salamat, Christine. Well, Coach Sandy, this is a challenge now for, for his team. They don't face a lot of these, you know, challenges in the NCAA because of how good this team is. But so far, they're executing here in set number two. For Coach O, I like how he emphasized SQ. Napaka holistic ng break na yun to discuss all that. Marami siyang napunta doon si Coach O. And we saw also earlier itong Lady Knights nagme-meditate to. In between sets, they dead on focus are focused on this match. Silang. It's been a while for Gia. Ayun nga, yung pag-meditate nila kanina, so far, nakikita naman natin na yung performance nila shows na they're visualizing the right things. Are we seeing shades of Rondina on Makina? I think ito rin yung sinabi ni Anton in the previous conference. Yes. Meron eh. Elevation. Oh, ayan o. Oh. Ayan o. Oh. Yup. Ah, Pero yun. Sumopra lang. <laughs> Pero iba naman yung level ni Ciceren. 10 to 8. Fifi Ariola. Who has gotten extended minutes for Coach Sandy today. Akila. Bumawi si Gia. Yeah, that's what you like. Estrelier. Pinigyan ulit ng kumpiyansa itong si Makilang after the attack error earlier. Tignan natin yung elevation ni Makilang. Again, yung confidence niya despite not being the tallest of spikers. Ariola. River set. Oh, Dapol puts it down. So that's a better attempt for Daps Dapol. 
clean hit from our MVP. Third point already in the match, and now she will be serving. Natura! May pambawe. Natura with one of her own. Bawian ng palo, grabe. Wala talaga lumalayo, di ba? And these the, uh, two teams, very well matched. Oh! Ace serve is ace! It's an ace! Makila getting one from Mary Rose Dapol. Wow! Even targeting the MVP who's been digging well in this match. Reception is another story though. Dahil kanina pa, as a team, ah, nahihirapan yung perpetual. Oh. Eto, this is a better pass. Omipon is checked. Cortero and Digi Silva. Tulak. Ball is still in play. Omipon! Barreling through the block. The power of Shiloh Omipon. <laughs> but Letran cannot contain. <laughs> Breaking the glass right here. Serado na yung block, pero lusot na din. 12 to 11. Tumabla pala tayo kanina. Ngayon, abante na ng isa ang perpetual. Razzle Aldea. Back set to Judiel. Off speed. Easy up. Omipon, too strong. She was under the ball for that one. 12 all. Gusto ko minimension yung score so, kasi para ma-re-emphasize kung gano'n tayo kadikit dito. Oh. <laughs> kung kanina, puro runs, ngayon ayaw magbitaw. Ayaw magbitaw, yeah. Melendres, by the way, is in for the Lady Knights. And here she is, setting up Nidura. Oh. Oh. Double contact by Nidura. Double contact on... Fifi Ariola. The run is in front all of a sudden. First team serving 12. Yes. Pag bitaw pa lang niya, How about this? The Lady Knights are in front after being behind predominantly here in set number two. Oh, yeah, sends it Martin. away. <laughs> Dos puntos na ang abante ng Letran. Ang ganda ng coverage. Itong Letran. So far, nag improve itong blocking ng Perpetual. Yeah. Pero, mas lumalaban sa paluan ngayon ng Letran. Wow. Ariola. Cordero. They go to Bedanya. Oh, what a dig. Yeah. Judel. Cordero again. Oh. Too strong. Attack goes out. Point goal. Six to one Lady run Knights. for the Letran Lady Knights to take the three point advantage. Parang jinjinx jinx natin. Kaya na sinasabi natin dikit. Ngayon may run na. May run na. Abangan natin yung counter run ng Perpetual. Tignan natin. But this is some kind of move oh, from the Lady Knights. Make that 7-1 to one run as we head to our second, second technical, technical timeout. timeout. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Ating laban. There is a turnaround here in set number two. Update on the numbers so far of Mary Rose Dapple. She has four points. Tatlo dito sa set number two. Finally getting three attacks as well. A very quiet uh, game so far para dito sa ating reigning MVP. Parang pinag-aralan na lang siya. Oh, <laughs> 
uh, Sir Peter Caico, Mancom representative of Arellano University. Arellano will be in action later in the afternoon. Here we go. Set to continues. Combination. Abang si Ledesma, and that's a kill block okay, Ledesma. for Ledesma. Grabe tong Letran. Talagang parang pinag-aralan talaga nila yung blocking nila yeah. for this game. On point, ano? Oo. Uh -oh. Tsaka walang pinapatawid halos. Kung hindi tumatawid, deflected. Yes. Oh, Mipon, that time. Yeah, Shy on the line ball. for Shai. Going over the blockers. With a much needed point right now. Parang kailangan nila i-boost yung sarili nila. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Medyo nagsascramble sila. This is not the perfect one that we know. Min Min Sapin is back in after an extended stay at the bench. Primary setter of Perpetual is back on the floor. Ito si Min Sapin. That's a good serve. Good reception as well. Combination for Judiel. Sinagot ni Dapol. Ang ganda ng dig ni Mary Rose. Push shot will not work. Here comes Omipon. Oh, the bloggers again with it. One more time for Shai. Oh, Silva saves it. Martin will try. Dug up. Okado with the push. Inangat pa. Long rally here. Martin! Oh! Great defense oh. from both teams. Oh, oh. Jidel! Oh! Blazing game <laughs> for Nitura. I think everyone was holding their breath <laughs> <laughs> until that final drop shot <laughs> from Nitura. What a rally. Omipon. Oh, even this one, Sil Silva oh. was able to get to it. Great coverage. Kanina ko pa sinasabi, great, great coverage, coverage from both teams. 18-13, Sapin. Ah, great quick. Joust won by Perpetual. Win, Nasa sa hikta, itong si Estredier. <laughs> Nagkamagaan. Nagkaan. So, 14-18. Yeah. Not falling down. But a great effort pa rin. Gusto mo yung effort din na si Elba to step over Estrella bago niya idig yun. Eight points for Omipon so far. As you see. Not one, two! Hindi pa rin nababasa. Another one from Estrella. And she has that in her bag. Ito, not Estrella. Oh, that time, medyo mas unpredictable uh, yung gump niya. Yes. And I think uh, she's a lefty too, lefty, so dominant yeah. arm niya talaga yan. So 19-14. Jump serve from Martin. Ah, oh, difficult first ball. Oh, ito mawed. Attack error, point goes to the Lady Knights. Mula kay Almenyana. Oh. 2014. Can Letran take a commanding lead in the match? We'll find out in a bit. Coach Sandy will call for ceasefire. Ayo mo yan. Mabalik na lang yung bola. Hindi mo maibalit. Ah? Wala doon lang. Nataranta tayo eh. Yung set. Kapapaalala ko lang siyo, di ba? Ayaw niyo. Pasok mo ito eh. Kapapaalala ko siyo. Nangyari na naman o. Ayaw niyo mag-focus eh. Natataranta kayo dyan, gusto yung mabulag at tayo. Isa-isa lang, isa-isa lang. Let's go, let's go. Kalma lang ko eh. Let's go, let's go. Coach Sandy Rieta. Tama, sa volleyball talaga, hindi pwede yung sobrang advanced kang mag-isip. Diba? Oh, Lara Mae Silva today. Wow, these are solid numbers. Eight excellent digs. Eight excellent receptions. Kaya... Laging magandang execution nitong uh, Letran. Giving a lot of opportunities to make plays. And even with the first balls, maganda yung kuha nito ni Silva. Ah, Almenyana, bumawi agad-agad. Better execution there. As Coach Sandy earlier reminding them na natataranta sila. And I think pati sila, hindi rin nila na kukuha yung alam nilang galaw nila eh. Yeah. Kaya mas natatalanta pa sila. That's right. 
Uf. Boy pa to. Chance ball for Perpetual. Tulak. Oh. Again, it's oh, Almenyana. <laughs> Nag-adjust siya. <laughs> she wasn't in the right spot to take that hit, pero ginawa niya ng paraan. At medyo nakaka-intimid dito para sa kanya. Ang sumabay sa kanya, triple block. Eh. Oh. <laughs> she took off too early, yeah. pero she still made, a, made it a point. Great hit. Makilang! Oh. Off the hands of the blockers. Makilang! 21-16. Ang ganda nung set ni Natalie Asulia for that. You know, sharp. Yeah. Giving Makilang the chance to really swipe that off the blocker's hands. And now they can do this. This is, you know, when you're on the lead or you're in the lead rather. And now serving for Letra. Tapos may mga ganyang scorer sa wings mo. Pipili ka na lang eh. Pupursyento ka. Ito si... This is... Yeah, Almirante, Almirante, who yeah. scored an ace to end set number one, is back in. Mm, Almenyana. Ito, na-deflect na. Makilang. Drop. Yeah, save ng Perpetual. Running hit for Melendres. Sabi. Difficult, difficult set. Aldea to the middle. Marcel Aldea. Better coverage from Perpetual, better playmaking in that sequence. Yeah. Mas kampante. <laughs> Main sapin, oh. connecting with Aldea. At saka, that was the right play. Kasi hindi scouted yun or hindi na-anticipate ng Letran. Oh, oh, nakaabang sila sa outside hitters. Yeah. And uh, Main Sapin giving it to the middle. So, Fifi Ariola is in. Wow, so only a brief entry for Min Sapin. She's back on the bench. Makila! Oh! Wow! Oh! wow! wow! So wind up pala, Woo! alam mo nang malakas yung palo na yun. Yeah, how about this? She's right in front of us, uh -huh. nakita natin yung approach niya. Ayan o, oh, explosive oh. from Makilang. Elevation, approach, and then the put down. Tapos parang wala lang. <laughs> parang wala lang, no? Business as usual. Alam mo, may shades nga si Sirondina. Yeah, I see it now. Oh! Good wind up. Cordero. Tries. It's alive. Back to Judel. Ariola to Razel. Silva with a pickup. Oh, oh, another one. Gia, back to back Mahira. points for Gia. Sa ano pa lang eh, sa tunog ng spike, yeah. ng contact niya sa bola, alam mo ng malakas. Look at this. Time out for Petrang. With a spike. Papalo, papalo. Papasok mo lang dun, no? Tingin sila, paano magpalo? Ah, masyadong malayo ng approach mo. Diyan ka lang, malilit ka talaga. 23-17 pa lang yan, no? Kakagulunan pa rin tayo, eh. Second set na to. Pero hindi pa tapos yan, oh. Parang tayo na tayo yung mukha nyo. Nahirapan kumapit dito ang Perpetual Lady Altas. Yes, si Coach Sandy taking a pause for the girls. A very much overwhelmed Perpetual Lady Altas right now. Again, hindi tayo sanay sa ganitong laro nila. From last year, again, they only lost twice, including the final four last season. In the eliminations, only lost to Benilde. Tapos, final four lost to LPU. Yes, to LPU. That's how dominant they've been in the NCAA. Ooh, again, the blockers are active for Letran. Wow. Better execution there. Nagula tayo. Meron pala siya nun. Almenyana. Sai Almenyana, but how about the dive from Rosano to keep Rosano the ball up? And then Almenyana went down the line for that kill. Maganda naman yung response from the timeout. Yeah. Yeah. Touch. Oh, touch and touch. Auto touch naman ang tinawag Perpetual. Trying to stay alive in set number two. 
Again, if you fall behind two sets to none, mas mahirap yun. Mahirap yun. Nakakapagod yun. Jubel. Picked up. Omipon. Oh. That's a point Omipon. for Shai Omipon. Shai Omipon. As usual, yan yung, ano eh, yan yung signature yeah. <laughs> power spy from Shai Omipon. Cargado. The wind up done is Shai Omipon. Yeah. Coach O calls for time. Aggressive, pero nag-iisip. Nag-iisip. Mm. Tama. And you, you saw from, from that particular timeout and heard na talagang yung nakuha na ni Coach O yung buy-in ng players. Dun sa philosophy niya, sa programa niya. Mm -mm. Slowly talagang uh, nilive nila through yung game. Yeah. Yung yeah. kanyang uh, philosophy, philosophy sa paglalaro. Ang lalim. Oo oh, nga eh. Teka lang. Uma Kanina, ano orasa ba? Nag-ESQ. Okay. Tapos ang lalim. Ang aga-aga pa. 10.41 AM pa lang po. Ganto na yung usapan. Wow! <laughs> ang ganda. Oh! It's a block by Ang Lina ganda Maglilang. nung palo. Pero yung point niya, mas magandang block. <laughs> you gotta see the first attempt and the second. Ito muna. Yung kill block ni Gia wow, Makilang. Flew in first for the attempt, but Omipon was able to pick it up. Set point! Oh! oh. It's <laughs> wow! It's the same ending! <laughs> yeah. A service ace to end two. set number two, Gia uh, Makilang, providing the last two points for Letran. They now take a commanding two sets to none lead. Ano kaya ang mangyayari sa set number three? Aabangan natin sa ating pagbabalik. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas Sa Paris Olympics, sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion si Pinoy Boxer Melvin Jerusalem. Matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses na patumba ni Melvin ang Japanese boxer na si Yudai Shigyoka. Balik sa ating laban. There you go. Back inside of Philo El Eco Hill Center for our coverage of the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Laban ng Letran contra Perpetual. And everybody's shocked. Including us, including everyone watching at home. Letran taking a two sets to none lead against the mighty Lady Altas winning set 2, 25-20. We can say it's really unexpected, diba? In the past seasons, hindi ganito uh -huh. uh, yung uh, kinalabasan ng games. At uh, even itong Lady Altas, parang na-shock din sila yeah. sa sarili nila. Kasi so far, they're still unable to bring out yung uh, kanilang laro. Diba? Nag-improve ng konti, pero hindi pa rin nila nababasa itong uh, Letran Lady Knights. The uh, Lady Knights still uh, dominating dito sa ating paluan, yeah. sa service, sa blocking. So far, nakikita natin, everything is clicking for yeah. them. While on the other end naman, itong si Perpetual Lady Knights, they're still finding their groove. Yeah. They're still looking for that go-to person. And uh, hindi pa rin sila nakakabawi. We have established scorers, pero so far, hindi pa masyado nagiging effective 
except for Shai Omipon. As we take a look at the numbers here. You know, 16 to 11. Despite having more attacks yep. against Letran, nawala yung blocks, nawala yung aces. Because I know sila nga yung one of the strongest serving teams, but right now it's missing. And on the other end, yung Letran naman, really overwhelming itong first ball reception ng Perpetual. Nawawala at uh -huh. hindi makagawa ng plays. Itong ating setter, si Lamin Minsapin and si Ariola. Pinapahirapan talaga ng Letran. At nakakarami pa rin ng uh, error itong Perpetual Lady Altas. Nine errors right there. That just can't happen, especially against a solid team like Letran. Kasi pinutulungan mo lang sila umangat dito sa ating laban. And uh, yun nga, we mentioned earlier, talagang yung Letran, uh, they're able to read well itong uh, spikers ng Perpetual, yeah. limiting uh, the Lady Altas. Ang highest scorer nila si Umipon with nine. Yeah. Bedanya with only five, Aldea and five, and si Mary Rose Dapol at four, mm -hmm. which is oh, kind of unheard of. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, on the other hand, naman, si Makilang was really shining for Letran with already with 11 points, and uh, Nitura with seven, while Martin has four. So, uh, sabi ng pagbibigay niya ng R5, uh, late na. I mean, kakarotay ng delay kasi ini input pa sa uh, Next time, ha, pakay ano na. All right, Minsapin will start for Perpetual here in uh, set number three. Again, this Sir, Letran team, we got to emphasize, last season, we saw a much improved Letran team. Although they were one game away from a final four appearance, they finished five and four. Hindi pa rin sila umabot. Looks like it's a different story here in season 99. Iba ang simula nila this season 99. At ano yan, ha? manalo-matalo dito sa laban natin, nakita natin yung pagkakaiba from their uh, style of play oh, in definitely. the previous season. Yes. And Minsapin, they scored the first point of set number three. Again, the Lady Altas looking to stay alive in this match. And Minyana, or Okada rather, couldn't do it. Omipon with the off-speed hit. Hands of the blockers were there. Here's Nyatura. Underhand pass. Makilang. Here she is. And she sends it away. Gia Makilang. Makilang. Still unstoppable right now. Tinutuloy lang niya. Huh? Itong uh, third set. 12 puntos na para third dito kay Gia, Gia Makilang. Who continues to be the main gunner for Letran. Omipon. Popped up. Martin. Oh! Yeah, Martin. <laughs> Check ball for Martin. May pangihinayan yun kay Almenyana. <laughs> Sa kanya dumaan. Oh. Nahawa ka na niya eh. <laughs> And also, look Martin, pinakupo ni Coach oh. Sandy. Yeah. Si Mary Rose Dapol. Oo nga. Yeah, extended minutes here for Almenyana. This is a push. Again, not a great execution for the Lady Altas. Met Andres. Second chance for the white shirt. Oh. Too low for Shai. Another point goes to Letran. Another attack error. Something they do not need yeah. right now. <laughs> what is going on? Shai Omipon. Shado Mababa. 3 to 1 lead for Letran. Gia Makilang. These are her numbers. Two aces. And another good serve right there. Omipon from the middle. That's good. Coach O says, Nope, it went out. Inuturo pa ni Coach. Coach O contesting the call. The call stands though. And then she has a hair up on your Okay. 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 Now warning na itong si Coach. 
Surveying is shining. What a morning. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting morning here. Oh, oh, oh me bon. with the help of the net. Three all. Dito sa set number three. Shai Omipon. First player in double figures for the Lady Altas. With that ace. Nitura. Straight to Sapin. Here's Almignana. Estrelier choosing Martin. Yes! And Martin. Nag uh, dalawang isip si Almenyana. Mm -hmm. Hindi tuloy umabot si Lozano. Hindi man serving out for the power sa atake na yon. But again, she targeted and guided the ball to the right spot. Sapin to Enrico. No go. Estrelier. Taks it for Natura. from Sapin. Here's Almenyana. And Almenyana scores. When goes to Mervetuan. Bumawi siya agad. Ah, uh, bumawi. Ayan gusto natin. I like how Almenyana is performing here. One of the new faces na itong uh, Lady Altas Serving replacing no less than the MVP in this match. And she has been delivering. Nitura. Uy, wow, but Martin. Martin scores. So I know me, but unfortunately setting it. <laughs> Sa kalaban. Oh, to my wed. Regalo, patawag natin dyan. <laughs> Martin scores. Oh, great serve. It's Almenyana. It's a broken play. Letran will take advantage. Martin. Too strong. No check. That goes out. She overcooked that spike. Yeah. Five all. Back and forth. Tit for tat here in set number three. On deck to serve is Ben Zocado. Zocado will start. Estrella. Ooh! Good dig! Oh, hey, ba. Tatawed. The trans sets up. Martin. And then Zilusano. Almenyana. Oh, it was not over. Sayang yung point habol nila doon. <laughs> Did not convert to a point. Yeah. Six to five. So, you know, even up to this point, Kara, hindi pa lumalabas yung Serving usual na laro ng perpetual. Yeah, we can still see them, unfortunately, struggling na nasa third set na tayo. Oh, correct. And again, that's a testament of how well Letran is playing, especially with their net defense. That goes out. That goes out. Seven to five. To the asking for a check ball, pero wala. Wow, what is going on? Another attack error. Yeah. This is Yen Martin back to serve. Jump serve. Serve. Oh. Omipon. Not. Oh, wow. A deceiving quick from Ledesma. Eight to five. We head to the first technical timeout. Pagbalik natin. Pakinggan natin ang report ni Christine San Agustin. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. 
makakasama niyang lalaban. The NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Alam niyo ba ang sabi ni Coach Sandy sa Lady Altas Kadina? Huwag daw nilang sayawin ang rhythm na hindi nila kabisato dahil dito sila tinatamaan ng matinde. As he also mentioned that the team is really struggling with their team chemistry at lalo niyang napansin na hindi ito ang kanilang nilalaro during their practice and even during their past games. For Coach O, on the other hand, bukod sa kanilang SQ, ang never-ending energy daw ang, bum ang bumubuhay sa buong koponan nila. Alam niyo ba na even those who are not playing are really asked na mag-ingay and to cheer on to those who are playing in court through errors man yan or through wins. And for Coach O, that's exactly how they snatch the first two sets and hopefully the last. All for now, Martin and Ken. Thank you so much, Christine. That's a great report on uh, both sides here. Let's start with Coach Sandy. You know, they're playing to the rhythm of the Letran Lady Knights. Kaya hindi nila makuha yung laro talaga nila. Oo, kitang-kita naman natin na that they are struggling. They're not used to itong parang low-tempo game nila. Yeah. And uh, they're still trying to figure out how to get it back. Yung nga yung team chemistry nila is missing so far. Serving now is and for Coach O, oh, well, he knows exactly what to do to get another W. Dito sa NCAA Season 99. Kung nagulat tayo sa panalo nila against Arellano, if they do win this, hindi na tayo magugulat. Uh Oo. -oh. Uh -oh. Sapin. Over to Omipon. Cargado, pero naiangat. Oh! Oh! Oh, great. Save it's by alive. Sapin. Yeah. Makilang with a drop. Ay! Ay! Nakabanggaan si Bedanya at si Sapin. A chance here for the Lady Altas. Omipon. Wala. Left-handed push. Nandun pa rin yung bantay. Okado. Estrelier. To Makilang here. Lozano. Was right there to dig it up. Oh, Mepon! Cross court uh, kill <laughs> for Shai. You, you can see the expression of Shai after that hit. Woo! Ang haba ng rally. And uh, yung effort niya earlier taking those digs really made up for it. If you guys are wondering, why our sets are longer than usual. Kahit tayo mga score natin, ganun pa rin naman. Dahil po sa quality rallies natin. Oh! Oh, wow. oh the balls. Still alive. It's on the side of the Lady Altas. Enrico gets denied. Shai will try. Again. Nabubuhay pa ang bola. But this is gonna sail out. Gia Makilang with the point. That was actually an overset. Yeah. Pero ginawa lang ng paraan ni Gia Makilang. And I'm so sorry, see oh. <laughs> Natalie kay Coach O. <laughs> and Natalie Estrelier, 13 excellent Serving sets today. Three points. Yung two attacks ayon, dalawang one-two play. And an ace. She's back to serve. Oh, Mipon. Too strong for Shai. Attack goes out. Point goes to the Lady Knights. She's looking for a check. Yeah, pero unfortunately, wala. Even uh, si Shai, despite having uh, double-digit points already, parang medyo on-off pa siya, uh, no? Yeah. May moments pa rin na uh, it's not the usual Shai umipon. <laughs> Ito, hanggang kailan kaya mananatili sa bench si Mary Rose Dapol? Oh, yan ang uh, kailangan natin abangan. Four point lead already for Letran. Omipon! Yeah, barging Shai through. Omipon. Habang nakaupo si Mary Rose Dapol, siya yung ipon doing uh, the damage. Yeah. The much needed points dito sa ating uh, Perpetua Lady Altas. Sending it through Melendres. Sapin on deck. Estrelier tacks it. Sapin keeps it up with a one-handed save. This is a chance ball. Nat, nagawa ng paraan. Yes, Omipon. Ooh, 200 push. Boy, pa. Okado, winding up. And getting it off the block. And so Okado. The linesman calls it a check. So, Okado. Yeah. Off Makila. So, 9 to 11. 
for Bedwell trying to chip away. Oh, that's near the net. Yeah, difficult pass by Lara Silva. Ganda yung serve to ni Min Sapin para pahirapan yung pasa ni Lara Silva. Alright, time out by Coach O dahil isa na lang ang kanilang lamang. Pangalawa lang kagulo ka, may pabro ka pa. Hindi matatapos ng hindi matatapos to kung mamadaliin ninyo. Hindi ibig sabihin na may nadali matatapos yung game. Sa intindihan, para matapos yung game, we have to do good repeatedly. Hindi mo kinakailangan spectacular. Sabi ko sa'yo, ganun ng drop goal eh. Di ba? Eh, wala tayo kailangan patunayan sa sarili ninyo. Kailangan natin maglaro ng teamwork. Ang tindihan. Now, we have to do good repeatedly. Focus on the things that we have control first. Okay? Go, go, go! And that's been Coach O. Hindi kailangan ng spectacular. We just need you to be consistently good. Yes. Earlier, I was speaking to Coach O, and ang sabi nga niya, mas importante yung performance, overall consistent ah. performance over yung results. Because yeah. that consistent performance will get you the results. Ito si Enrico, getting the kill block for Letran. That wasn't the response Coach O was expecting. Uh -huh. And a nice kill block. Ito yung isang nawawala sa laro ng Perpetual. Yung isang usual na nakikita yeah. natin, yung blocking. Yep. And uh, yun nga, Coach Sandy putting in Enrico for this set. This is one of the tallest and one of the most disciplined teams in the league itong Perpetual. Lalo na pagdating sa blocking. Okado against Silva. Keeps it alive. Here's a chance for the Lady Altas. Okado one more time. This time, she is able to score. Abante na po. Ang perpetual Lady Altas. Much better execution so far from the Lady Altas. Even yung ano eh, yung, uh, yung expressions nila inside, so yung aura, parang mas light. Yeah. <laughs> And then nakita natin to sa score. That's right. Umaangat na yung kumbiyansa dito ng Lady Altas. <laughs> They're having, having fun. much more fun compared to the first two sets na medyo bagsak. Ayan, may 5-0 run tayo. Again, a game of runs. Yeah, game of runs. <laughs> This time, Perpetual overtakes in set number three. Okado, angled hit. What a save by Estrelier. Makilang will try wow, cross court. What an yeah. angle yeah. from Makilang. <laughs> <laughs> wow, cut shot. Cut shot kung cut shot para dito oh. kay Makilang. Basang-basa niya yung defense. Nakita niya yung butas dun sa gilid. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what a shot from Makilang. And that's, that's a hard angle. Oh. Kasi kailangan, tansyado mo yung distansyang yun. Yes. 12 all. Sapin. Okado. That bounced off the net. Silva. Over to Nitura. I'd say. Attack error. Point goal. Error on Judel Nitura. She wanted to try something else, pero kinapos. Yeah, as you see here. Yeah. Drop shot sana siya, kaso lang na uh, bitin. Bitin. Nag-adjust siya. Sakyari na. So, Shai Umipon will serve. Oof. Again, a very faulty first ball. Almenyana. Sack goes out. Oh, Point goes, goes out for Almenyana. Goes out. Tabla ulit tayo. So, it's an attack error for an attack error. And we're tied at 13. <laughs> <laughs> told you, this is why our sets are long. Dikitan, tapos mahaba ang mga rallies natin. What a treat for our NCAA fans. Sapin. Almenyana. They go to Ledesma. Lozano will pop it up. Here's Almenyana again. Better attempt. Pero nando si De La Cruz. Martin. Oh, Omipon dives for it. Almenyana pushes. Nitura! Ah, oh, Sapin with a dig. Long rally. Okado went under the ball. Miss hit from Okado. Point goes for the Lady Knights. And uh, she apologizes kagad kay Coach Sandy. Kung merong break point sa tennis, 
<laughs> ganito Oo. yung break point sa volleyball. sa volleyball. Kasi nagpapalitan kayo ng puntos, mm-hmm. tapos ikaw yung bumitaw. We'll see though if Letran can sustain it. Enrico, pumawi agad. Siya, Enrico. So, so far, yeah. Perpetual Lady Aldas uh, executing much better. Despite yung mga attack errors na ganun kanina, they're trying harder, yeah. mas aggressive compared to the last two sets. That's Cha Enrico. Ang height nito ah. Six flat. Pangkad. Grabe. Netura. Sapin. Okado. Not gonna work. Here's Estrelier going to Ledesma again. Omipon choosing Okado one more time. Grabe yung oh, oh. coverage ni Silva. Buhay na buhay ang bola. Almenyana, runner. Silva again was right there. Martin to Omipon this time. Okado! Masyadong mababa. Point goes to the Lady Knights. Itong uh, string of attack errors really not helping right now. They went to her repeatedly. Ito kay Bebang Okado. Pero at the last attempt, sending it too low. 15-14. Ooh, sharp serve. Tanya. Estrelier to Martin. Martin sends it away. And Martin. And Letran is back in front by two. 16-14. Let's go to a quick break. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics. Mary Rose Dapol hasn't played here in set number three. That's why her numbers uh, stayed the same. Four points, three attacks, six digs, four receptions. But again, hasn't gotten a taste of the action here in set number three because of her struggles. A very quiet game for that was something we did not expect. Yep. 16 serving 14. Very rare. Etong ganitong klase mga laro para kay Dapol. Attack goes out. Attack error on perpetual Winnie Bedanya. Committing this one, it's a three-point lead for Letran. Can they sweep the Lady Altas? <laughs> what a game! Hindi to kasama sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Bingo card natin. <laughs> oh! oh, that one was off the block. So Almenyana is able to get a point back. After a string of attack errors, Almenyana making up for it with a much-needed point and watching the ball go out. Yeah. So, Okado. Again, a good pass. Dump. Naabangan. Pinuhay pa ni Almenyana. Here's a chance for the Lady Knights. Oh, oh went through the antenna. That goes out. Sobra. 16-17. It's back to a one-point game. See here, Martin. Yeah. Targeting down the line, pero sumobra. Uh, At umaka sa antena. Hirap na yung angulo ngayon. Oh, Ledesma. That's good. It, it was a bit too low, pero nagawa ng paraan ni Martin. I'm oh, sorry, Nila Desma. Yeah. Able to put it down. Fifi right. Ariola is back inside. Bustamante, new face for the Lady Altas. This is Camille Bustamante coming in for the first time. So, Coach Sandy really going deep into his rotation. And. Why not? Uh, oh, magic bunot. <laughs> Point agad. Bustamante coming in. Unang bigay sa kanya. Pumuntos agad. Wow. 17. 18. 
a crucial stretch here in set number three. Good pass from Laramie. Oh, another Ilang. good reception from Silva. Inabuto, Omipon of speed. Estrelier, makilang again. Oh, nakabantay si Almiñana. Omipon, denied. Masyado malapit. Oh, yep, that was too oh, near the net. That was too close to the net. Point goes to the Lady Knights. Good attempt from Bustamante, pero... Momentum, no, hindi na napigilan. Oh, hindi na napigilan. Yan. See her slide the net on her way down. Naglemborak na siya doon. 19-17. <laughs> Ledesma, again, di mo nakikita. Hindi maraming kill block si Ledesma today, but mm -hmm. a lot of touches oh. of the attackers of Perpetual. Winnie that Bedania. was an emphatic hit by oh. Winnie Bedanya. Medyo tahimik si Winnie Pedanya in the last set, pero ngayon, kailangan niya mag-step up talaga. Yung mga moments like this yeah. uh, is what they need to be able to get the set. Started off great, itong si Winnie Pedanya silenced in the second set. Makilang, Pedanya keeps it alive. Here's a chance ball. Letran will set it up. Makilang, oh, nandun ulit si Pedanya. Bantay na bantay si Makilang. Oh, oh, Mipon. Sayo, Mipon. Dropping it in. Si Mipon, nag-iiba yung laro niya oh. because of the blocking na itong letra. Dinadaan niya sa mga placement shots like this. Yeah. Ayan, no? nakita natin. Nakita niya yung buta sa gitna. Hindi kailangan pumalo ng malakas. Yeah. Just find the hole. Mark of a good scorer. Gagawa ng paraan para pumuntos. Buhay pa to. Letran saves it. Quick execution. Oh, nakaabang si De La Cruz. That's a big denial. Omipon. Another one. Ooh, that one was too low for Bustamante. Crucial yung block ni De La Cruz doon. Because Perpetual thought that they had that point already with Enrico's quick. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Grabe yung coverage na itong Letran. They're really working every point. And uh, yun nga nakikita natin yung sinasabi ni Coach O kanina. Yeah. Kailangan mag-isip. Kailangan na uh, gumawa ng paraan. And they are service doing it goes so far. Okay, but not that time. Estrelier commits the service error. That will equalize set number three. Res Ocado coming in for Bustamante. Min Min Sapin is also back in the game. Here we go. Dikit na naman tayo. <laughs> Can Letran finish it? Or will Perpetual stay alive? We'll find out in a bit. And here's a chance for Perpetual. Shayo Mipon. Shayo Mipon powering it through. Targeting Silva pa, who has been playing such a great game. Pero that was just too strong for her. As you see here, you know, na dyan si Silva. Pero it was just 21, too strong. She's been the lone heavy scorer today for the Lady Altas. Shai Omipon continues to deliver. Estrelier choosing Makilang. Ito, deflected na. Sapin to Shai. Oh, na na si Silva. Better coverage. Good dig from Silva. And, and a better spike Makilang. from Makilang. That was a down-the-line hit for Gia Makilang. Yeah. Ang ganda. <laughs> Iniwas, ano? Oh, oh linyang linya. Linya. Very unpredictable itong si Makila. Kasi kanina nagko-cross court siya. So kailangan din bantayan niya ng blockers. Omipon. Oh, puts it down. Shy Omipon. Shy, Shy Omipon. <laughs> taking charge. <laughs> Woo. Parang kinakabahan ako. Oh, Parang okay, ako rin. <laughs> nasa dula na tayo ng ako set, rin. pero kinakabahan <laughs> Hindi natin mapredik yung pupuntahan natin dito. 22-21. Mm. Oh, good oh. serve. Service ace. And ace. she continues to score even from the service line. <laughs> timeout. Coach O with a crucial timeout. Ilang beses yung pumapot ang sakit na walang pumukuha. Lagi-expect tayo na malalakas na bola eh. 
out of position, ano pwedeng gawin ng kalaban? Papaloyin pa ba ng malakas ay papasok lang. Oh, so, kailangan tayo gumalaw. Nangyayari yung mga sides natin, naghihintay eh. Okay. Dalawa lang yan. Ito yung sinasabi, you have to ask for it. Oh, Hindi nyo inihingi eh. Hingi ninyo, didigay sa inyo. Gawin ko nga yung advice ni Coach O. Oh. Hihingi ako. Hihingi <laughs> sa akin. And that's good advice though. Yeah. Especially in these kinds of moments. Na dehado ka. All of us. Kanina, diamado sila. Ngayon, dehado. I think this is the first time in the last three sets na naunahan sila. Yeah. In this uh, junction ng set. Estralier. Of speed for Nitura. Okado. That is too strong. Just goes out for a check ball, pero wala. Point yeah. goes to the lady. Bibi ka ito. Oh, parang hindi niya nahawakan kasi nang mabuto yung bola. Yeah. So, the Lady Knights are within a point. Ayaw bumitaw. Ayaw, ayaw. Lozano, good first ball. Almenyana off the block. It is set point. For the Lady Alcas. Staring down at that ball as it goes out. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> yep. Again, quality <laughs> minutes of the bench. Yep. Doing a great job. Yeah. And uh, sending them to set point. Good serve. Better pick up. Ah, uh, Martin. Letran yeah, is still alive and kicking here in set number three. Sabi ni Martin, wait lang. Wait lang wait Hindi pa lang. kami tapos. Didikit pa. And uh, ayan, we see here. Time out okay. for pet one. Coach Sandy Maninigurado. Gusto ko yung binigyan ni Coach Sandy ng freedom oh, nga eh. yung mga players niya. I was gonna say, niya. yung kumpiyansa niya sa players yeah. lumalabas dito at a very crucial point in the game. And gusto natin yan. So, confident siya na yeah. kaya nila mag-deliver. Kasi mas alam nila yung when gusto nila. Yeah. This is for them to stay alive and for them to win the set. It is Nitura serving. Good pass. Petanya! Oh, oh it's alive! Dig. Oh, Makina, what a dive! Marami. Sapin. The push by Almenyana. Not gonna work. Here comes Letran. Martin. Rosanna keeps it up. Sapin goes to Almenyana. Estrelier choosing Martin again. Oh. And don't you, Rosano? Oh. But, but we have an error. And we have an extended set number three. Woo. What a set. What a game. What a game. What is going on? It's 11.20. Yes. We are tied. The morning. Nitura is uh, still at the service line. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. oh, it's a nurse for Juden Nitura. And giving the match point. Wow. Wow. What a crazy turn of ah. events. Now perfect one. Ooh, with the help of the net. Yeah. You know, ang baba nung serve, pero sa lakas na musik pa rin. Buenas. Oh. Ito ang serve ni Mitura. Ah, pasa natin, pasa. Pasa ang bisita yan. Pasa ang pensa. Ngayon. 25-24. Kanina, set point ang perpetual. Tumayma si Coach Sandy. Letran pa ang nakaumang dito. <laughs> Coach Sandy asking for one good reception. That's all it needs para makagawa sila ng play. Yeah. Makadikit ulit. <sighs> Alright. A pressure pack serve. Let's see kung na-freeze itong si Nitura with that timeout. Serving for the match, Jutien Nitura. This is for the match. 
A sharp serve. Oh! Way back. Oh, still alive. <laughs> Here's Estrelier. Martin denied! Oh! It's a block four for Winnie Pedania. Winnie Pedania coming up with a kill block at a much needed moment. Yeah. Wow! We need four points here <laughs> in set three. <laughs> it is Okado starting the rally. The quick. Buhay. Aldeñana of speed. Martin tries again. Easy up for Lozano. And here comes Almeñana. Oh, oh, Silva with a dive. Great dive from Silva. Sapping to Bedanya. Rally continues. Martin! Miss oh, And Martin hitting the net. Ryan Martin, point goes to the net. one is back at set point. <laughs> Grabe yung rallies. <laughs> <laughs> Their third chance for the to set take the set is Bam Zocado. What a morning. What a morning, <laughs> indeed. What a treat for the volleyball fans. Martin! Oh, Get it up again! Bawi agad for Martin! <laughs> and with this swing, she reaches double figures in scoring. Just puntas na para kay Yen Martin. 26 all. <laughs> what a game. What a game. <laughs> Sapin with a dunk. Oh. Silva, nakabantay. Bakilang. Oh, what a save by Lozano. And the ball is still in play. Estrelier, back to Bakilang. Pinuhay ni Almeñana. They go to the pipe. A chance for Letran. Tula, too soft. Pedanya. Silva again was there. Oh, Estrelier. And Estrelier. Taking matters into her own hands. The lefty setter getting that point. So you see here, Yan. <laughs> Sabi niya. Serving for the match. Turn. Oh, hindi yeah, na basa ng Permeto. They weren't ready for that. Yeah. What a decision by Nat. Match point. Letran. Too strong on the serve. Service was goes out. <laughs> point goes in the More volleyball. More volleyball. Why not? Why not? 27 apiece. <laughs> We're seeing quality volleyball. Playoff atmosphere here in set number three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Almeñana. Makilang. Oh, makilang. <laughs> she puts yeah, Letran makilang. back in front. Nakita mo yung confidence dun sa swing niya eh. She really wanted that point. As you see here, you know, ball switching so wide up talagang yung pitik pabalik. She wanted that. Bam! Chia Makilang is fired up. And Letran can take the match again. Almirante! Almirante! These are crazy numbers from Silva. 21 excellent digs, 21 excellent receptions. Yep. Double yeah. double for Laramie. Yeah, as I said, it's the ng coverage of uh, Pakita ng Letran. Yeah. And here's a chance to take the match. Makilang sent back. Great coverage again from the Lady Knights. Chances of Perpetual. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, it's not yet over. Time we can say. Wait. Nasa front line na ako. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hindi pa tapos. Patapos. Relax. 28 all. Winnie. Petanya to start. Okay. Konting hinga after <laughs> <laughs> a string of long rallies. You're addressing a wet spot there. We <laughs> Di pa rin get over sa numero ni Silva. Oh. Grabe yan. Double double. In three sets. Yep. Kalang. Makilang! Oh! oh! Off the block! Chia Makilang! Another match point. Makilang. Situation for Letran. Makilang continuing to do 
More damage. Ooh, grabe yung kumpiyansa. Now, for the match. That si Makila ang pinupuntahan. Yeah. And this is why you play as a player for this moment. 17 excellent sets today for Estelier. Omipon. Easy up for Silva. Makila. Yes! Oh! Yeah! And Makila ends the match. Wow. Wow. Wow! What a performance from the Letra Lady Knights. That's the end of set three. First. And the match. Well, the final second score, surprise of the season for the Letra Lady Knights. They the take down the and mighty first Lady first Altas first courtesy first of this left-handed push <laughs> by the rookie, With Gia Makila. <laughs> from Coach Oliver, a very happy Coach O. And Coach O takes his second straight win as a head coach in the NCAA. Let's listen to their school hymn. <laughs> Conclusion of this match. It's a sweep for the Lady Knights at the expense of the Lady Altas. Mamaya maya po. After this break, kakausapin natin ang ating uh, winning head coach and of course we'll meet our best player of the game. Kaya wag kayo nga alis, magbabalik ang NCAA Season 99. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage. Ipin ay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan, ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59-kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin!
Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong sa Buanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics si na E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic qualifying tournament. Coverage and you're looking at the longest three-set match of the season so far. Letran sweeping perpetual and again winning that extended set three to take home their second straight win of season 99. Uh, ngayon po, kasama niyo pa rin Martin Avier with Miss Cara Acevedo on and with us now as promised is the head coach of the Letran Lady Knights now 2-0 in the NCAA coach Oliver Almadro. Coach, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, thank coach. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Coach, congrats. Um, point out ko muna your reaction after you won against Arellano. That was a very good team that you beat. Sabi mo, you know, you gotta still manage your expectations. Yeah. Meron ka pang marami pang pwedeng marating itong team na to. But in this particular performance, you beat Perpetual, who is a favorite, one of the favorites to win the championship. This has to feel good, coach. <laughs> yes. And it's this straight win. sets. And it's straight sets. Oh. Well, okay. first, uh, I thank my players. Uh, salamat sa mga players because of their hard work, sacrifices, and of course, yung, yung belief nila. Uh, yung faith nila sa sistema, faith nila sa sarili and sa, sa teammates nila. Coach, yung faith na yan, nakita natin at nasubukan dun sa third set na yon. Multiple chances for Perpetual to take that set and stay yeah. alive in the match. Would have been a different story if we extended in the fourth yeah, set. Yeah, Who yeah. knows? Pero kumapit, naniwala yung mga players mo. Talk about that. The resilience of this team. Lalong-lalo to, nasubukan sila in a pressure-packed situation yeah. and they mm -hmm. delivered. That's what I'm telling them. Uh... Letran is all about resiliency. Letran is all about trusting in faith. Sabi ko sa kanila nung time na na lamang na yung dalawa yung perpetual, sabi ko, uh, have faith. Ito yung pinapractice ninyo. Ito yung mahirap na ginagawa ninyo. <clears throat> so, tiwala at higit sa lahat. Sabi ko sa kanila, enjoy, makukuha nyo to. And kasi meron mga players na tumatahimik na may mga players that their body language is beginning to 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 surrender. Yeah. But I keep on telling them, just keep the faith, ask for it. Hingin ninyo yung bola, hingin ninyo, and it will be given to you. So yun nga, in-expect nila na ibibigay sa kanila yung bola, in-expect na darating yung bola and tumating yung bola. And at the right time, we are at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Coach, uh, earlier <coughs> sinabi mo sa akin na yung expectation mo sa season na to parang ayaw mo pa bigyan ng ano yeah, yeah. <laughs> ng label yeah. after this match what's next ano ano yung outlook pa well uh, it, it's still uh, one game at a time one day at a time sabi ko sa kanila results is not always better than performance mm -hmm. so performance ang importante they perform to their very best and the results will take care of itself okay. so tomorrow sa practice performance again Next game performance again, so the results will take care of itself. That's our mantra. Okay, Coach, I want to talk about and emphasize as well um, how you were able to neutralize Mary Rose Dapple today. Grabe yung blocking nyo. Okay, hindi man nagresulta in a lot of kill blocks. Yeah. Pero lagi nandun yung kamay ng blockers mo. Lagi danin na they deny yung attempts niya. Um, Pag-usapan natin yung homework ninyo, yung film viewing ninyo. Kamo sa yung preparation nyo going into this game? Well, uh, honestly, they're just learning how to uh, do the film review. Mm. They're just learning right now. Natututunan nila yung sistema na yung percentage, statistics na nauumpisa na nila. So, I'm tapering pa rin expectations. But importante sa nasabi ko sa kanila na just do your job. Mm -hmm. uh, gagawin ng depensa yung trabaho nila. And don't be afraid. Mablock, mablock. Kung hindi, hindi. Ang importante, meron ibang taong tutulong sa inyo. And about the perpetual, 
they are very good. They are a very good team. They are really prepared. Uh, it just so happened that uh, my players did not uh, succumb dun sa kung sino man yung matibay sa team uh -huh. ng, ng perpetual. Uh, we just fight it to the end and we'll see what happens. And then yun nga, na napigil namin kahit papano and uh, we really hope na mag-continue yung, yung, yung resilience, maging mag-continue yung disiplina ng mga players on and off the court. Oh, coach, kasi nakikita na natin yung consistency yeah. mula mm -hmm. sa mga players mo. Kahit sinong ipasok mo, lagi na dyan. May bantay yung mga spikers nitong Perpetual. Okay, coach, we recognize that Perpetual is a very good team. Yeah. But, you know, how big is it? Kasi I believe kayo isa sa mga pinakamahirap na schedule. First two games. Yes, yes. yes. first two games. Kasi nakuha mo Arellano, Perpetual agad. How important is it to get two wins right away against two very good programs dito sa NCAA? Well, first, I'd like to thank my coaches, my coaching staff. Uh -huh. So, my coaching staff <laughs> are doing their job also uh, in the strength and conditioning and uh, preparing my, my, my players well. Mm -hmm. So, hindi lang naman ako yan. And of course, yung, yung, yung team. Uh, talagang uh, they really helping each other para uh, masustain yung energy mm -hmm. every match and every practice para pag nag-review sila ng kalaban uh, talagang sakto dun sa gagawin yeah. so I, I think I think those at the back at my back Coach, um, huli na lang bago ka namin pabatiin dito ang dami nag-perform very well sa yeah. team nyo uh, we, we saw ridiculous numbers earlier from Lara May Silva but for you Sino nag-stand out from your spikers to your libero to your blockers? Kung meron kang ipipinpoint oh, or ipipinpoint. Kung, kung kaya, kasi ang daming <laughs> nag-perform today eh. Oh. Well, para sa akin, ano? Uh, Sino nag-stand out? Malaking bagay yung, yung, yung si Yen kanina kasi she's starting to, ano eh, to, to succumb to the, ano eh, yung pressure ng opponent and si Judel Nitura. Mm -hmm. So, pressure pa yung isang ace niya. Yeah. Uh, during that, kung hindi ko siya pinush, sabi ko, High risk, high reward yung serve mo. High risk, high reward. And then, he, talagang nilakas wow. niya. Sumabi talaga sa net. Oh. But because of siguro yung power, pumasok. And that, yung tingin ko, yun yung nag-turn nag, nag out. Yung ace na yun ni, ni, ni Judel. Instructed pala yung uh, serve na yun. So, yeah, high risk. Know, risk it. High yes, risk, high, high reward. Risk, high reward. In that kind of situation. Yeah. Amazing. Coach, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank But of course, we will not let you go without you greeting your loved ones and all of your supporters. Ores na para batiin mo sila. Well, first, uh, Father Vic, Father Rector, Boss Frank, SGA community, SGA family, uh, my family, uh, Jen, my wife Anaya, who's always watching, uh, my son Milaro, uh -huh. <laughs> and then yung parents ko, family ko in Las Vegas, uh -huh. ma, Marian, uh, thank you for the prayers and those who are supporting the the the, the veteran lady knights. Uh, the community, the alumni, uh -huh. yung mga teammates ko dati, yung Aribatibot. <laughs> Aribatibot. Aribatibot namin. Uh, we'll see you soon, pare, mga pare. And of course, uh, those who are praying for us, we really thank you and continue praying for us. We will not, we cannot do it because without your support, without your prayers. And Ariba Letran. There you go. Coach O, get used to this. Oh, Hindi pa ito yung huling guys. Sana, <laughs> sana, 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 Mark. Wow. Sana, Still undefeated yeah. in the NCAA. Coach Oliver Almagro 2-0, ang Letran Lady Knights. Ngayon naman po, I already mentioned this to Coach O earlier. Putting up crazy numbers today with her floor defense. Kasama ngayon ni Christine San Agustin, si Lara May Silva. Yeah. Go ahead, Christine. That's right. Hi, Martin and Cara. Tama, kasama ko ang isa sa mga bumuhay sa Letran Lady Knights kanina, Miss Lara Silva. Of course, congratulations, first of all. What a game, napakahaba. Kaya gusto kong tanungin, kamusta ang pakiramdam ng makasurvive ng ganong kahirap na laro? Um, sobrang saya po kasi parang nag-prepare po talaga kami sa larong ito. So, nakita naman po yung, ano, yung panalo po namin. So, sobrang saya po kami ngayon. And speaking of preparations, ito, curious lang ako, hindi ko natanong kanina, paano ba kayo nag-prepare? Because this is perpetual that we are talking about last season. Medyo mataas talaga sila sa rack. So ano ba yung mga preparations na ginawa nyo? Um, pinanood lang po namin yung game nila, nung first game ng JRU. Tapos yun nga po, tuwing nag-scrimmage po kami, parang pinag-aralan po talaga yung mga saan pupunta yung mga bola nila. So ayan po, nakita po ngayon. At sa hinabahaba ng prosesyon ay nandito tayo. Kaya gusto kong tanongin sa'yo, ano ba yung lesson na napulot mo sa napakahirap na larong to na madadala mo sa mga susunod yung pang games? 
siguro po ano um one one game at a time lang po talaga. Tiyaga lang po every game. So yung teamwork po talaga, yun talaga po yung ano, nag-step up po sa amin ngayon. All right, before we let you go, baka meron kang gustong pasalamatan and batiin, please go ahead. Ang binabati ko po yung ano, si Boss Frank po, SJA family, yung family ko po sa Iloilo, hi po, yung coaches ko po sa Iloilo, yung mga family po ng teammates ko, tsaka thank you po sa Latran community na nag, nandito po ngayon, tsaka yung mga alumni po, thank you po. And thank you as well, Lara. Congratulations once again to you and the team, Martin and Cara. Maraming salamat, Christine. A double-double today for the beach volleyball MVP bringing her winning place dito sa indoor scene natin. Lara May Silva, 22 and 22 today. Uh, and again, importante yung naging depensa niya kasi nakasetup ng maayos itong Letran Lady Knights. Maraming napunta dito sa katabi yes. natin ngayon. Rookie, very young from Bohol. Kamusta? Uh, Gia Makilang, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Such a great game today. Great game today. Okay, Gia, ikaw, first year ka dito sa NCAA, pero wala kang kakabakaba. Okay, final two points. Ikaw lagi nagde-deliver para sa Letran. Ikaw yung laging pag-porsyentuhan. Talagang nakakakuha ka ng mga puntos. Okay, first off, anong reaction mo dito sa unang dalawang panalo nyo? Tapos, ikaw pa yung uh, best scorer ninyo. Well, first of all, kinakabahan talaga kasi kasi po, uh, first year ko pa lang po dito. Kauna-hunan ko pang laro sa tournament na to. Tapos sabi ng mga teammates ko, mga seniors, uh, especially po ni Coach Ona, tiwala lang kahit anong mangyari kasi pinag-insayuhan naman po. Kabado ka dun sa 17 points sa unang game nyo, 19 points ngayon. Ano pa? Oh, ano anong maaasahan natin pag hindi ka oh, na kinakabahan? Okay. Actually, hindi na halata. Hindi na kinakabahan ka. Oh, oh. <laughs> hindi, kwento mo sa amin, uh, Gia, kanina nung third set. Nasubukan kayo doon. Extended set, may chance yung perpetual kanina na manalo sa third set na yun. Ano yung mga napag-usapan nyo as a team? Ano yung mga nangyari sa court na nagpahabol sa inyo doon at nagpanalo pa? Well, sabi ni Coach O, uh, may binigay po kasi siyang parang verse, hmm. Jeremiah. Uh, 17, 14. Chapter 17, verse 14. Tapos sabi niya, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Mm -hmm. Tapos save me, and I will be saved. For you are my praise. Ganon. So sabi, hingi lang kahit anong mangyari. Hingi lang sa Panginoon. Kapag hiningi mo, tapos may tiwala sa sarili, bibigay daw po ng Panginoon. Yun. At totoo nga. Yes. Totoo nga. Ibinigay nga sa inyo yung panalong to. And again, a lot of crucial points dun sa third set na yun. Talagang parang, oh! nangyari para sa inyo. Okay, Kara? Ako gusto ko lang malaman kasi we've already <laughs> talked about lahat ng mga nagawa mo this match. Ano yung feeling nung mm. last point na yun? Di ba ikaw, ikaw uh -huh. yung nakakuha ng win eh after that extended set? Ano yung naramdaman mo? Kinakabahan tapos <laughs> nagulat na lang ako. Ay, panalo na po pala. Oh. Ganun. Ganun, 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 ganun lang. lang oh. <laughs> okay, ace na pala. Hindi. Pero Gia, ang ganda ng tinatakbo nyo ngayon. May mga comparison. Katulad ng L.A. Yan o, inyong puntos nyo ngayon. O, left-handed push oh, pala. My. Okay, to end the match right there, makilang, ginawan mo lang yun ang paraan. May mga comparison tayo. Ha? Kanina, kanina pa namin kinu-compare previous games si Anton Rojas naman yung nag-compare. Parang ganyan yung elevation ni si si Rondina. At yung approach sa bola. Idol, isa ba siya sa idol mo? O sino yung idol mo sa paglalaro ng volleyball? Well, pag-start ko po ng volleyball, si Alisa Valdez. Si Valdez? Yes. Okay. Then si KKD. Tapos nung napanood ko na po si Sisi Rondina, parang na-inspire na po ako na, ay, pwede palang tumalo ng ganun. Pwede pala. Oo. Okay. At ang kayang-kaya mo talaga, nakikita talaga namin yung elevation mo throughout the game. Talagang parang kumpiyansang-kumpiyansa kang makakapalo ka despite na matatangkad yung mga blockers sa harap mo. Okay. Hey, pero, okay, this is your first year in the NCAA. Sinasabi mo sa amin kinakabahan ka, pero intimidated ka ba? Siyempre, may TV coverage. Tapos, siyempre, ito na yung mga teams na pinapanood mo sa TV. May konti bang ganon, intimidation oh, na konti? Oo, po. Kasi noon po, na, pinapanood ko lang po ito. Tapos ngayon, parang yung mga bata na po sa amin, parang, ay, congrats, nakapunta ka na doon. Parang, ala, ala, nakapunta na pala ako dito. Ganon. A ikaw dreams na. do come true po. Ikaw na yung idol nila. Oo, oh, ikaw, ikaw na, ikaw na. O, ito. Uh, Gia, kasi napansin namin kanina, lalo na yung response nyo as a team dun sa mga timeout ni Coach O. Talagang nakabay-in kayo dun sa sistema niya at dun sa philosophy niya. Talk about that. Pagdating niya sa Letran, okay, papaano niya kayo minotivate at in-inspire na para ganito laruin nyo? 
Parang sinasabi lang po niya, wash, kapag nag error po kami, wash, dapat positive lang po. Kasi natural lang po nagkaka-error. Mm -hmm. Pagdating niya, uh, Gia, ano yung pinagkaiba in terms of the system at saka dun sa disiplina niyo as a team? Po. Anong pinagkaiba nung pagdating ni Coach O dun sa sistema niya at saka dun sa disiplina niyo as a team? Well, first of all, nanibago po kami. Tapos parang naglilituhan po kami, di po namin alam kung saan kami pumupunta. Parang... Mm -hmm. Ay, saan ba ako? Kani kanino ba yun? Sinong kukuha? Tapos ngayon, parang nakabisado naman po namin. Pulido na. Okay. Konti. Konti. Okay. Oh. Oh, Gia, hindi ko alam kung uh, na-realize nyo na. Kasi perpetual yung tinalo nyo. Diba? Ito, 8-in-1 to. Elimination last year. Nag final 4. Pakiramdam na tinalo nyo ganyang kalakas na team. Anong pakiramdam nyo? Ganyan, tinalo nyo ganyang kalakas well, na team. Well, masaya. Tapos naluluha po kasi... Lahat ng mga seniors parang kinakongratulate po ako. Tapos, ang galing mo, ganun. Ah, oh, di naman. Tayo namang lahat nagtrabaho nun. Uh, Tapos sabi po ni Coach, oh, teamwork lang po talaga. Kahit anong lakas mo individually, kung wala kayong teamwork, di po talaga gagana yung team. Okay. Di po, puntos. puntos ngayong araw na to. Officially, in the first two games, para dito kay uh, Gia Makilang, 18 points per match, per match sa NCAA as a rookie. Pagkakataon mong patiin yung mga nanonood sa'yo ngayon, lalong-lalo na yung pamilya mo, your loved ones from uh, Bohol. Hi po, uh, Mapa, uh, Makilang Family, sa ate ko, si, uh, sa kuya ko, si Kuya Gian, si Giselle, spe especially sa ong manghod, si Juji. Uh, thank you po sa mga sumusuporta po galing sa Bohol. Uh, Escudero Family, galing sa Carmen, Maglasyon Family, Bienonido, uh, Mamay Mai, uh, Kuya Moy, uh, get well soon po. Sa tanan pong mga nitan o gikan sa Bohol, uh, thank you so much sa pag-support. Ayan o, Boholano, represent dito sa NCAA. Congratulations, Gia. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, 19 points uh, today para dito kay Gia Makilang. Again, kapareho ni Coach O, masasanay to dito sa commentator's booth natin. This oh, will not be the last time she'll <laughs> be here. I'm sure. <laughs> sure, Vol. Okay. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin ulit si Christine with Yen Martin who also stepped up today. Go ahead, Christine. That's right. Kasama natin ang isa pa sa mga star players ng Letran, Yen Martin, na kahit rookie ay hindi na raw po kinakabahan. Pero kwento mo sa akin kanina, no, na hindi ka talaga familiar sa NCAA at all, sa mga gantong liga. So kahit nasanay ka na, ano ba yung mga adjustments na ginawa mo when you got here? Um, siguro din po, naging dahil nga po sa kanina, naging part na po yung mga past tournaments namin na eto nga po, na-build na yung, yung puso ko sa paglalaro. Yan po. Talagang matigas na, no? Ikaw ay nonchalant na rin si Yen Martin. Pero as a rookie, gano'n ba ka-importante sa'yo na um, manghingi ng advice sa mga ate mo or even kay coach? And ano ba yung mga particular lessons na napulot mo from them na ginagamit mo talaga? Ayun po, every game naman po kasi binibigyan nila ako ng motivation, lalo na po si coach, nagbibigay pa po ng mga Bible verse. Yung mga senior ko po na nanood dito, na before, yung captain po namin, yun lang po, yung take ko lang po sila. Yun lang po. And this was really, it was a tough game. So, paano makakatulong ang game na, sa, game na to sa'yo sa pag-progress nyo sa Season 99? Um... Dahil hindi pa po ako kasi contento ganyan. Kami po, hindi pa po kami contento sa kung ano nilalaro namin. One step at a time po kami lagi. And I'm sure marami pa ang in store for you and for your team. And before I let you go yan, baka meron kang gustong pasalamatan yes, at bagiin. Okay po. Hello po sa family ko. Thank you po sa De La Cruz family, kay Madam Jo, kay Madam May, sa fa Law family po, sa Letran community. Thank you so much po sa pag-support. Huwag po kayong magsawa at panoorin kami every game. Congratulations again, Yen, and thank to the team. Thank you, thank you so much for being here with us today. For now, uh, Martin and Kara. Maraming salamat, Christine. Almost a triple-double today. Para dito kay Yen Martin. Again, what a journey for her. Pagmula nung last season, nandun siya sa Team B nila. Papunta dito sa Team A. Now part of the regular starting lineup ni Coach Oliver Almadro contributing 10 points today. Congratulations, Yen Martin, and the rest of the Lady Knights. Let's go to a quick break. We'll be back for more dito sa NCAA on GTV.
bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang namang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter. Tonight, if you're not able to tune in earlier, nanalo po sila tatlong sunod-sunod na sets uh, against the perpetual lady Altas 25-21. 25-20 and 30-28. We needed an extension in that set number three to settle things. Ito yung final numbers natin dito, Kara. Uh, Again, not surprised attacking went perpetual's way, but the rest was uh, all a run. Oh, nakita natin. We were talking about it earlier. Yung contribution ni Laramie Silva sa digs. Ayan, 62 to 58. Malaking bagay yun para makapag-set up ng play sa tong letran. Kumbaga, mas mataas yung percentage nila na kahit na mas madaming atake tong perpetual, nakuha pa rin nila each and every set. And uh, we can also see here ang taas ng opponent errors. So perpetual having a string of uh, attack errors really did not help their cause. Yeah. And meanwhile, itong si Letran, they limited it to 20 lang. Therefore, ayan, talagang nag-pull away sila dito sa ating uh, third set. Yung 31 uh, errors na yan itong Perpetual Lady Autos, it wasn't like, you know, they were committing service errors or yung mga talagang unforced errors. Yes. Ito yung mga maraming attack errors that was forced by Letran's net defense. Yes. Sobrang nag-rattle na talaga sila dun sa preparation, preparation. ng Letran, dun sa kanilang mga atake. Again, limiting a lot of yung mga alam nating standout stars yeah. to uh, such uh, small numbers today. And yun nga, kahit na hindi kita sa kill blocks, yeah. nag-reflect uh, ito and into their their own points. Yeah. And nakakagawa sila ng sarili nilang place. And again, kapansin-pansin po yan dahil Perpetual, again, is one of the most disciplined uh, teams in the NCAA at isa rin sa mga powerhouse teams natin dito. Speaking of Perpetual, let's uh, head over to the men's side of things. It was also Perpetual versus Letran. Also, a three-setter between these two teams. This was at 7 a.m. Ayan po, gising na sila. Naglalaro na sila ng competitive volleyball. At ito pakiramdam ko, sige, hihintayin ko yung atake niya. Because first set natin was an extended set, 26-24 in favor of Perpetual. Pero for the Perpetual Altas, Coach Sammy Akaila right there. Sige, hihintayin ko yung atake niya. Hindi, hindi pa siya yan, hindi pa siya yan. Okay, that was Coronado. Or that was rather uh, Kel Medalia with a slide attack. No, ito na, sige, yan na. Louis Ramirez, <laughs> reigning MVP. Masakit ang likod, masakit ang uh, balikat. Grabe yung buhat niya today. 27 <laughs> points in 3 sets. <laughs> Isang set sa kanya. <laughs> kanya na. Grabe, na, ang sakit sa ulo nung ginawa doon ni Louis Ramirez. But you know, that's what he is capable of. Louis Ramirez, 
27 big ones on the other side for uh, the Litran Knights. It was a more well balanced attack. Dahil uh, apart na players in double figures for them, led by Fitz Himson with 15. Yun nga, dahil ang um, MVP natin si Lou, binuhat niya oh ang laro, straight sets Teka naman, naman. Okay. on Perpetuals and... 27 points, 5 excellent digs, 21 excellent receptions All for Lou Ramirez. All around talaga. <laughs> Hindi na surprising yun. Hindi na surprising. In just three sets for uh, Louis Ramirez today. At 7 o'clock in the morning. That's right. At 7 o'clock. Ganyan tsaka ganado mag-volleyball. At <laughs> ganyan tsaka focused. Kasi usually, siyempre, you know, yung mga teams natin, yung pa-practice sila, hapon na, mm -hmm. pag na, yung umagang game, medyo may maninibago pa dyan. But again, great job for the Perpetual Altas. An error right there for uh, the Letran Knights. They own... They had 23 of those in this particular match. First two sets, 25-21, and then this was the match ender. That was a nice play from the Letran Knights. It was Bautista connecting on the combination play. They needed a lot of those in this game, especially with the firepower of Perpetual, but this guy was just too much. Ayaw magbigay ni Louie Ramirez. Oh. I feel like I, I remember covering Brian Bagunas before and how unstoppable he was uh, when he was with NU. I think Louie has reached that level. I think so, yes. Definitely. Kasi grabe yung mga atake niya. As in, above the blockers, hindi mapigilan. Pag pinuntahan mo siya, ikasa mo na. And they kita talaga natin yung athleticism niya eh, diba? And napaka all-around player niya, hindi lang sa attacking. Nag, uh, Nagka-contribute din siya sa receives, diba? Yeah. Sa digs. And again, this is coming off his stint in beach volleyball. Another crown for them in the beach volleyball scene. Plus, he won MVP. Oh, no yeah. surprise there. No again. surprise. Last season, it was... Uh, Jefferson Marapo, this year Louis Ramirez uh, got the award. And again, congratulations to the Perpetual Altas for taking another W in the men's volleyball scene. Okay, different story though in the women's division as Letran was able to surprise everybody with this win against the Lady Altas. Your thoughts on this match, um, Cara? This is a big statement. Uh, from the Letran Lady Knights. Oh, I think ano eh, si Coach Oliver, temper lang niya yung expectation. Pero another upset win yeah. uh, for the Lady Knights. And yun nga, they, they were matched up against yung mga stronger teams at the start, di ba? So, aabangan talaga natin what's yeah. next for them. Dahil sabi nga nila, sabi nila Martin, hindi pa sila contento dun sa ginagawa nila. Nagsisimula yes. pa lang daw sila. Marami pa silang uh, kailangan i-accomplish dito. But, and again, this is going to be a competitive field in Season 99. Kasi, yung natin, Benil Perpetual could be a shoe. Two, two teams that could be sure of a Final Four spot, basing it off their performance from the previous season. Pero because of the emerging performances of Letran Knights or the, the Lady Knights, hindi na natin alam kung sino yung papasok o ano yung magiging ranking yes. natin eventually. Okay. In the afternoon, Another explosive matchup here. Ale Arellano rather looking to bounce back. Oh, coming their... from their loss from the Lady Knights. Etong Lady Cardinals got a win versus San Sebastian in their first game. Should be an interesting matchup. Mapua made it to the final four last year. Arellano did not, after a long time, after a long time, miss the final four. Should be a good game at 2 30 p.m. Kara, thank you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed that exciting three setter match. Oh, we wanted more. We <laughs> did, and we wanted more. Yes. So, maraming salamat po, mga kapuso, sa pagising ng maaga at sa inyong pananood on behalf of the entire broadcast team. My partner, Ms. Kara Acevedo Ong, our courtside reporter, Christine San Agustin, our floor directors, Stephen Cruz, Pacasena, Roy Tulio, panel director, Roman Gonzalez. Our director, Direct Abit Ramos, game producer, uh, Manny Gabutina. We also have Manong Mark Morados there. This is Martin Avier saying thank you. 
But again, this is only one half of our Saturday doubleheader. Tune in later at 2.30 p.m. for the matchup between Arellano and Mapua. Dito lang po sa NCAA Season 99 only on GTV.